there. Hello, welcome back to another Adobe live stream. Um, we're here with Elise Swopes. Hi. My name's Arabella. I'm like fixing uh, my necklace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fix it up, girl. You look gotta look good. <laughs> um, welcome back, you guys. This is awesome. Uh, happy Thursday. We're here in San Francisco. Um, let us know where you're watching from. Say hello. Say hi. hi from New Zealand. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jose. Uh, Voodoo Val's in the house again. Yes, love we Val. love her. Team Val. Yes. Hi, Racine. Welcome back in. Hi, Lynn from Canada. Hi, Michelle from Mexico. This is awesome. We yes, got a lot of people. Great. Um, great. All the yeah, world. we are here for day three with Elise Swopes. Puerto Rico. Um, yeah, yeah. Ooh, hi, Anthony from Puerto Rico. Ooh, from Poland. So, oh, I'm Polish. Oakland. Oakland. I'm Polish, Are you really? Actually, I'm a oh lot gosh. of things. I'm wow, a lot of things. That's I, can keep, I can keep dropping them. You could be All like, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, someone from San Francisco. Hi, Hugh. Oh, hi, Dave from Venezuela. Um, awesome. So, ooh, so many people. So many people. It. Hi, everyone. How are you? Awesome. Good to good to have you guys in here with us for day three with Elise. Um, of course, we're going to be going over some more um, fun compositing, um, some tips, tricks, um, especially in the Photoshop and Lightroom um, on the iPod. So super fun. It's been really great. If you did not get to watch um, yesterday's stream or uh, day one, you can totally watch the replay on behance.net slash live. So make sure to do that because we talked a about a lot of things. Um, yesterday was fun because we got to talk a little bit about mentality and mindset. Mm -hmm. And um, today we'll actually be doing a little bit more of like kind of the businessy side Absolutely. of uh, photography and your art and, and mm -hmm. Instagram and all that uh, yeah. social media jazz. So Absolutely. Um, before, before we get started, a couple little housekeeping things. Um, in about half an hour, we do have our chat and win as usual. So you'll have a chance to win some stickers from Sticker Mule, 100 stickers. So make sure that you stay active in the chat and definitely wanna encourage everyone to ask questions throughout the stream um, as well, because I'm sure Elise will be happy to answer them. I love questions. Yes. I'm an open book, Yeah, please. Absolutely. So I, I'm very honest, very open. I love okay. telling my stories. We so, love that. Yeah. We love that. Snap, Thanks. snaps for that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we do have a full uh, schedule today as well. Um, so if we can take a look at that, that would be awesome. Um, Paul just gave us another um, Photoshop daily creative challenge. Um, and today's challenge was to do, um, it was to bring drab images to life um, using layers to apply colors, uh, gradients, and blend modes. So make sure that you um, check out the replay for that and submit your challenges um, in the challenge tab above the chat um, because we'll be reviewing those in about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do have the XD stream after this, and then, um, or XD, XD uh, creative challenge, and then the XD stream at noon. So, oh, thank you for putting that up. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, just take a look. 9 a.m. with Paul. Just finished that. Elise until about 11.30. Jesse will give us the XD creative challenge, and then we got Lenora um, at noon. So, super awesome. Hi, Leah. Hi, Mohammed. Thanks for joining us again. Oh, they're like, love your work love you. and your Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, thank Someone's you so like, much. Someone's like, baby giraffes. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. More giraffes. We did giraffe edits yesterday. Yes. So make so sure make you sure check it out if you did You check that out. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, for anyone who is new, um, we are here with Elise Swopes. I love your last name, by the way. Where, where's, where's that from? How's, how did uh, that come about? <laughs> my dad, my oh, side. I've got it. I've even got a tattoo. I love right that. Here. Swopes. And I like that you included in a lot of your hashtags too. It's very like. Yeah. Very I cool. mean, it's such a cool name. I could not pass it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna be real with you. I didn't really um, take advantage of it until. Um, I was a rapper. I was a rapper, actually. You were a rapper? Yeah, I was oh rapping. God. What? Um, in like 2009, 2010, I uh -huh. think. Um, and my my friend Suli was like, "You should go by Swopes. Your last name's so that's cool." Amazing. So I, yeah, I it went is by cool. Swopes. And I even said Swopes so dope in one of my raps. So that's where the hashtag that's where that comes, comes from. from. Where, amazing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Well, I do have your Instagram here pulled up. Um, just kind of wanna, yeah, give a little intro about yourself, how you got started. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'll just look at your work while we do it. Of course. That. So my name is Elise Swopes. Um, mm -hmm. I was, um, I grew up in Gurney, Illinois, mm -hmm. which is a suburb to Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, but I was actually born in Minnesota. Um, I've been a graphic designer since I was a little girl. I actually started designing on this program called Kid Picks, oh my um, God. which yeah, is like this, this yeah, <laughs> which is like this funny little child program um, that was on the old um, Apple Mac 
mm-hmm. computer. Yeah. yeah, I think it was like a 1998 computer. You know, oh those wow! Blue yeah, those like ones. old school. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and I actually was homeschooled until I was in third grade. Wow. I, I, for, I haven't, didn't even drop this yet. Um, but I was homeschooled until I was in How third was grade. That experience. Amazing. My dad's actually he's a teacher. Okay. Um, okay. He's a, a so teacher. That, yeah. Well, he's a teacher for um, kids with behavior disorders mm-hmm. actually now. Oh, so he okay. works at a lot of schools cool. um, where you know kids are throwing desks at him. <gasps> they are yelling yeah. at him, but Aggressive. he comes uh-huh. back every day oh. with so much pride, so much yeah. dignity, and so much passion for those kids. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. he. So if that's any inclination of how I was educated, mm-hmm. then. You know, yeah, it's absolutely. it's a really important it thing shows. that he's doing. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. So, um, oh, Voodoo Val says I was homeschooled. That's too. why me and Val are like this. That's why we're, we're like, like this. homies, yo. That's it. I that's get so it now. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so uh, after I was homeschooled, I ended up going to public school though, mm-hmm. and um, I, I that's when I eventually owned my first website. I was mm-hmm. in sixth grade mm-hmm. when I um, owned my first website, and that taught other people how to build their own websites. I had free HTMLs. Yeah. I had tutorials. Yeah. I had Amazing. pixels that I made. That's so cool at such a young age too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I taught myself HTMLs. Um, it was a little bit before uh-huh. MySpace, but so when MySpace came yes. around, I was like, then it was like great. Oh, I, I know what apply. I'm doing. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. What was absolutely. it like? The little like the little V thing, A H R E F, or oh, like the images oh, and yeah. stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like the little things. The little the things. A, yep. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Equals. Yeah. Yeah. Get the HTML. Ti- <laughs> oh my God. By the way, tiny URL does not <gasps> exist anymore. Wait, it doesn't. No. They took oh it down. Gosh. You know, if you go to their page, it says literally, it's like, you guys didn't pay for this. We just crumbled this over. Bitly go somewhere over, else. That's why. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I just remember using uh, Tiny URL tiny a lot URL. for a lot of my hosting for images oh my on my, my, my MySpace yeah, pages. But I would absolutely. sell MySpace layouts. Um, to people, that. I had a pretty decent business. Mm-hmm. Um, although I was, I remember a few times in middle school, we were mm-hmm. talking about I sold some layouts for McDonald's yes. cheeseburgers oh my gosh, because that's incredible. Well, this girl would come to school and her mom would like give her this the best lunch. I thought at the time, you know, McDonald's is like the coolest lunch <laughs> you could <laughs> have in middle school. Are you kidding yeah, me? You always want so, to go. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so she's like, yo, Elise. I almost said Swopes because no one's called me Swopes at the time. <laughs> no. Elise. Can you help, you know, make my MySpace nice, cool? And cool, I just I set cool. her up and she was like, ooh, she gave me cheeseburger, like, after, cheeseburger after cheeseburger after cheeseburger. Chicken, cheeseburger. Ooh, man. A little frap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um that was definitely an intro to my what? entrepreneurial How fun. Uh, there you go. existence. That's, yeah. There was that entrepreneurial <laughs> spirit yeah, in yeah, you. So for sure. started at a young age. Um, I love that. Yeah. And then I um once I graduated high school mm-hmm. in 2008, I actually moved to the city like the same day I oh, was wow. done with school. Uh, my mom actually, my parents are divorced uh-huh. and they've been divorced since I was like two or three, which uh-huh. is fantastic, wonderful. We love them. They love each other. They're they're great. Yeah. Um, but it's, my mom lived downtown for a while mm-hmm. at the end of my high school career. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I became obsessed with the city because of that. I would yeah. go visit her every weekend. I'd stay with her during the week. Um, sometimes and so that day when I graduated I moved in with her in the city Mm. in Wicker Park Okay, and Wicker Park if you don't know about Chicago is like the coolest like hipster kind of like when you're 18 Mm. just coming in into Chicago you know Mm -hmm. like this is a spot to be very artist based very cool Um, so it was a really great intro for me um, in Chicago, but it was also a little troublesome because I ended up dropping out of college oh, for a little bit. But wow, granted, wow. I'll tell you this: I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just knew it wasn't really you school. Knew it wasn't for me. school. Yeah. So I dropped out for a little bit, and I actually started doing album covers for different mm, artists um, mm-hmm, in Chicago, mm-hmm. and. Um, that eventually just got me into um, being an assistant for a DJ, and that's how we become oh a rapper gosh, for a little bit. Yeah, you're, you're right. jack of all trades <laughs> over here. She, she's doing it all. <laughs> that's Literally. incredible. Um, and then from there, that's when I signed up for Instagram in 2010, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. beginning in 2011. I um, signed up, and I was really just taking pictures of myself. I wasn't really yeah. creative with it. It was just yeah. selfies, pictures of mac and cheese. I really love cats. I've got cat tattoos like on my hands, Cute. on my, my back it. and my leg. Um, so I was really posting a lot of cat pics. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I found the, the, the community of Instagram of these iPhone photographers. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. being myself, you know, I'm a broke 
college dropout. I have <laughs> no job. I have no phone but this broken iPhone 4. I have yeah. no laptop. I have no nothing to my name, basically. Mm -hmm. And But I do have this amazing platform with these free apps. Yeah. And a camera on this small little device yeah, and yeah, um, that's all I had and I, that's what I used and so um, I was consistent with shooting with my iPhone, mm -hmm. I was consistent with editing and I think the reason why my, my art is so surreal now is because at that time I really wanted to stand out, mm -hmm. you know, I really wanted yeah. something to be different, I wanted it to be magical, I wanted it to be imaginative unique. and unique yeah, absolutely. and um, I think that's really kind of what set me up into this like imaginary mm -hmm. kind of state but it also enabled me to become a um a suggested user on mm -hmm. instagram yes. and that's when instagram decided that i would be kind of a face to how you become an artist on instagram mm -hmm. what you should mm -hmm. post to instagram mm -hmm. how, yeah you know you how you started should. so early so yeah. it's kind of like yeah you were there at the stage yeah yeah i mean course. i was taking pictures on instagram and my friends were asking me what instagram was oh my god i remember wow. those days i mean every, <laughs> a lot of my friends used to call me an insta goddess because they were like oh. we remember you on there before <laughs> yeah. all of us yeah like absolutely. anyone you wow. know um, so that was a, a I'm, I, after I became a suggested user, I was gaining about a thousand followers a day, which oh is gosh. enough to inspire anyone. Yeah, you know, of you course. gotta take advantage of it. And so. then people obviously see your work and they're just right. like, they want to share it. They, and then it just kind of goes from there and Absolutely. expands. So, yeah. 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 So, I mean, the community was great. I did a lot of collaborations. I met mm -hmm. so many people. I started traveling a lot. Yeah. Let me and then. head over to your website too. <laughs> yeah, of course. I kind of want to share a little bit of your the clients that you've worked with of course you, probably, you didn't see any of the streams from yesterday <laughs> or the day before um she's worked with a lot of people you guys like and you can totally go on her website um swopes.com right swopes it could go you can go no There's, not you oh, know what swopes. let me tell you about swopes.com if mm. you go there they're trying to sell it to me for seventy thousand dollars no, nope, oh, not so buying it. Dot info. Okay, you can go at least swopes.com. You can do swopes.info. You can do swopes.co. You can do swopes. <laughs> Or you can do swopsodope.com. Oh my gosh, and all that's all the that will that's how I uh, yes, okay. it will absolutely wow. link to Look there. I'm not trying to play. take get, get well, no, no, uh, no. Oof. we don't do that. No, we don't do that. But the thing is, is this <laughs> is the problem with swopes.com is it's an email database. So oh. there are swopses, even though I don't. I don't know who in the whole world is named Swopes. I mean, I have a lot of family, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> there's so, there are people out there with like something, something at Swopes.com emails. And so oh, the problem is, okay, is that okay, if okay. I buy that website, I have to buy all those all emails. All of those emails as well. From those oh, people. That's, yeah, that's a lot oh, to do What a with, life. So. Yeah. Well, so. sorry guys, Swopes.info yep. <laughs> is probably the easiest one mm -hmm. or at least Swopes.com. Yeah. So. Or you can Google me. Um, yeah, or just Google. Google. Just Google. Google. I'm sure it'll be the first one that comes up. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So I just kind of wanted to go over. Yeah, you've got so many um, unique clients mm -hmm. and a lot of. You've worked with so many people and um, so we many. Just we saw this one yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, this was one of your um, uh, collabs with Method. Yes. Just super fun. Mm -hmm. I love this composition. Method's and great. Yeah. They're like a yeah. great company because they're eco friendly. And when they approached me to do this, I was like, how in the heck am I gonna accomplish this? Because, yeah. you know, it's it's a bottle. How cool can you make a yeah. bottle in a space where I've only done cityscapes? You know, mm -hmm. I didn't really wanna shift too much from my normal Your look, normal but I still wanted mm -hmm. to try something different. Yeah. So I um, bought myself a light box, a little, you know, little space where I could put the objects in because in the past, what I've done is I've just, like, I don't know if you want to go back to those few yeah. ones that we talked about yesterday where I poured yes. it. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Maybe we can. Absolutely. I think it's still, it's still on my website, actually. Oh, is it still on your mm -hmm, website? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, you point me to the right and direction. And then we'll just go down a little bit, and then it's going to be right here. So this, okay. <laughs> this is oh, one, yeah, of my right. <laughs> one of my first like collaborations oh my and I don't know I don't even think I maybe I got like two hundred dollars and they gave me like a coupon for like some juice uh -huh. um which is pretty <laughs> great that's huge for me at yeah. the time but this this is different from what I did for the method because with method I had the bottle in a light box and it had a you know a very simple background yeah. white gray you can pick very simple so you can cut it out mm -hmm. whatever but with this I went to this 
to this what? actual spot downtown oh with the skyline, and I just had the juice. I you know yeah t t top off and just poured it on oh the concrete gosh. right there, <laughs> and I just Was tried to pull just the looking at you. Oh, I'm just sure. Like, oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure they were me? definitely looking. <laughs> I mean, people look at me all the time. They honk at me in the streets. You know, they do, it's this is life. Mm -hmm. um, because I also Got take a lot of like reflection shots <laughs> yeah, in yeah. puddles, and people oh. will be like. Like, what looking like, doing? what is she doing down there? Um, so I'm very used to looking sketchy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> very much so. That. Yeah, this is the normal. Well, that's um, awesome. So yeah, it's, it's, it could, uh, for me, the method project was really just kind of an, an yeah. upgrade to um, what I had already kind of yeah. envisioned many years ago mm -hmm. in 2013 and, wow. you know, and then 2018. It's many years of kind of, kind of knowing what I wanted. Yeah. Um, kind of knowing who I am, kind of knowing what I wanted to present. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah, so it was cool. a, it was a pretty, it was a, it was great. I really love fun. that. That's awesome. Thanks. And, um, yeah, we had talked about a couple other things as well. I mean, mm -hmm. you've been on TED. You had a yes. TED Talk, which I is incredible. Yes, TED Talk, yeah. At um, the, it was at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. So mm -hmm. there were college students there, and this guy actually came up to me. He goes, I started following you when I was in middle school, and now I'm in oh college for photography. I just oh want to let gosh. you know you inspired me. That's I was like, amazing. dude. Uh, like, that's like the highest compliment, <laughs> really. I mean, like, I have goosebumps. Being, I mean, you can when look you at my arm right now. I literally have Bumps. <laughs> she does. I can confirm. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, someone totally, even when I posted um, that I was hosting you, mm -hmm. like, they're like, I listen to her podcast. That's like, so I love crazy. her. And I'm like, that's amazing. It's weird that people listen to me talk, but apparently people like my voice. And I'm like, that you sounds good. You have a really great voice. Yeah. 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 Thinking about doing some voice acting. Should, we'll see what yeah, happens. Should, should, I should, should, just just dip sure. my toe in everything. <laughs> see what happens. Why not? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. But I think, you know, it's interesting when I do think about how far I can continue going as an artist, mm -hmm. as a person that I am, will I continue creating mm -hmm. art on my phone forever? Yeah. If I, you know, do become something bigger, maybe I do act one day, maybe mm -hmm. I am in, you know, cartoon movies or something, yeah. voicing yeah. a character, like, at what point does this begin and end, you know? Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't see I don't any see ending. Yeah, any no, ending. No, no. It's just because a continuous uh, yeah. journey. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. the thing about mobile editing is it's only getting better. We've got these yeah. wonderful programs that Adobe is producing yeah, absolutely. that are allowing us to have extended imagination, you know, mm -hmm. for the longest, for the last 10 years that I've been editing on my phone it seems like I've been really limited. I've kind of made bad habits in the way I've edited mm -hmm. because we've mm -hmm. talked about, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get- about destructive editing right. and just mm -hmm. not having the option to, you know, have yeah. layers or be able to go back when you're editing mm -hmm. on your, whatever editing yeah. apps you use. So of course, like mm -hmm. you are gonna develop bad habits right. because of that. But you know, <laughs> now that we are, you know, seeing these new products mm -hmm. come out and allowing us to do that, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's huge. It's inspirational. Yeah, it absolutely. makes me feel happy. Um, yeah. Thanks, Adobe. <laughs> yeah, for real. And I mean, and I get to do classes, you know. Yeah. I just got off the phone teach before this. Um, yeah, and teaching people. I get to teach people mm -hmm. that it's okay not to have all this stuff. You can have yeah. your phone, you can have an iPad with these mm -hmm. these apps, you yeah. know, and, and a free platform where you can yeah. just share everything and create exactly. something crazy for yourself and look what I'm and doing work now. With people. It's yeah. Crazy. I mean you work with so many people <laughs> yeah. and just mm -hmm. it's incredible. So it's yeah, very it's inspiring really, it's for really, sure. Um, it's brought me to a wonderful place. If a yeah. lot of people don't know, I even in um I think it was in September, early September, mm -hmm. maybe end of August, um, that I went to the Maldives with yes. Jada Pinkett Smith. Yes. And um, that was pretty crazy and wonderful. And is, do I have that on here? Yeah, it is there. Let's see. Oh, it was on the Westbrook thing right there. Oh yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. I wonder so if I So cool. If I go to her Instagram, I wonder I if love I can it. find some. Some of the other ones? Yeah. <gasps> I'd yes. love to see. That must have been a crazy experience. Oh my God, it was definitely ridiculous. Oh, um, so In fun. the best way, because yes. I'm telling you this. I was sweating so much, <laughs> um, and I, I would apologize to her because I had like snot coming out of my nose, and I was like, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I just don't know what's going on. Yeah. I promise I'm, and then she's like, don't even worry about it. You look great. You're killing it. You're awesome. Oh my I'm like, God, amazing. Woo. All right. They're just so wonderful. Yes, thank but you But it was a really great experience, and I think I just, I learned, um, I don't think it's gonna let me. Oh, snap. annoying. That's okay. Whatever. Okay. But you guys can check it out on her page whenever you feel like Maybe it. Maybe I can. Maybe I can through my. <gasps> you could. Am I on the right page? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, there is. 
Oh, she puffs a lot. She does right there. So um, right that just water right there. Oh, right yes. there. Okay, so I shot this entire video, and you have to watch. You have to hear the sound on it though, because mm -hmm. it because it looks funny wow. without the sound. But it's actually supposed to be like a comedy. <laughs> Cause she's like, you know, choking on the water. She's trying to act like she's a model, uh -huh. you know, um, pretending she's in a commercial. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, her expressions. <laughs> yeah, um, which is so crazy though too, because I don't really do video. Yeah, and she was, and they, you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, it was really, really cool. And I, I felt so I confident in that. The thing that I really find is inspiring about you is that mm -hmm. you have like, you will take, you will say yes to things yes. that you're like, uh, maybe might not be 100% mm -hmm, sure about, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but you're like, I'm just gonna do it anyway and challenge myself and do it. And mm -hmm. and if I like it, great. You know, then I know that I that I like something, you know, that yeah. I didn't think I would. Yeah. Or if you don't, then you just don't do it again. And that's great, you but you can say that you tried right. it. And that's, yeah. um, it's huge that's awesome. for me. It's huge and that's important for any artist mm -hmm. or any creative, like, you know, don't limit yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. never limit yourself. Um, I think that's been, you know, it's been a struggle. It hasn't every time I said yes, I'm like, oh god, okay, <laughs> here like, we go. Okay. You know, like honestly, because it's it's scary. It's yeah. scary to do stuff when you're uncomfortable. It's scary to do things where you don't know what's gonna happen. But that's the fun in life. That's where growth happens. Yeah. That's where, yeah. you know, that's the progress. Because mm -hmm. the goal we talked about a few times in the last two um, lives is it's not the goal. It's the it's the process. Yeah. It's that that yeah. that's the journey. The journey yeah. getting everything to there. Everything you're doing to mm -hmm. get there. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is really the most enjoyable part because when you get to the goal, you're gonna be like, okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, now you're next. Yeah. It, you're on to the next thing, and um, it's really important to have that 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 mm -hmm. process going within yourself to know that it's it's about consistency. It's about education. It's about mm -hmm. keeping going, yeah. knowing that you're never gonna be perfect, and that's the excitement mm -hmm. of it. Being Absolutely. scared and doing it anyway, growing yeah. with that fear, yeah. being better through that fear. Mm -hmm. You know, so. That's, a, Love that's, it. that's what I'm trying to Thanks do. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> TED Talk. Um, awesome. Well, a lot of good, you know, advice and, and, mm -hmm. and things to to live by. Absolutely. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about what you're going to be working on today? Of and course. And maybe a little bit about kind of the topic for today as yeah, well. Of as course. you do your thing. I would love to. Let me bring up few of the edits that I might be working on. And we're just about six minutes until chat and win. Yes. Um, hello, Alvaro from Colombia. Hey, hey. Um, Alia says you are fearless. Thanks. And Rosemary is you. watching on her phone. She's Yay. Like listening on my phone. Happy to be here. Oh, we're happy to have you here too. I love the phone. You awesome. know me and my phones. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so today, um, excuse me. This is actually one of the the edits I made for Adobe Max. I went to Max um, last year, and oh. it was so much. Fun. If you haven't been to Max, I really suggest you go. Ugh. You meet so many people. It's such a Incredible. fun experience when you're in the audience with all the talks and mm -hmm. everything. Um, so they're just so fun. I just every time I get to go, I'm like, yeah. Whoa! it's like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, um, absolutely. Because you feel like everyone's like yeah. the same. A yeah, little, you know, yeah. we're just, we're just all like nerdy, all fun kids hanging nerds. out, creative. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I love and that. it's so cool. Um, and then, cool, and then you know, the coolest part is, is when you see someone a little bit unassuming, and then they're like the greatest artist oh in the my world. God. And you're like, dude, how? What? And they're just like quiet and they're just like, okay, you know, it's cool. It's like, like hey. dude, you, oh my God. Like, I, I try to like calm myself down because I can get so hyped and so and excited. excited for people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but there's so many talented artists out there and I'm just, I'm always amazed and so in awe yeah. of how Adobe really is always behind them too. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we walk in the green room here, I see all my friends' art, like oh, friends yeah. that I've met through Adobe Max, you yeah. know, and through Adobe specifically. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's such a great community to be a part of. And so I'm, yeah. I'm just grateful. That's I'm awesome. happy. I love that. <laughs> and I cry. I get like really emotional too. Oh. So you can probably see my eyes are yeah. a little like. Yeah. She's getting emotional. Yeah. And yeah. it's great. Yeah. It's, for real. That's awesome. Um, so <laughs> today, specifically, this, I mean, this is what this piece is inspired by, is that kind of communal mm -hmm. energy, that, that vibe that I feel from Adobe Unifying. Max. Unifying, so, yeah. Um, I took LA background, and all of this is stock imagery from Amazing. Adobe Stock. So this is really just um, start from start from stock, yeah. you know, start from scratch. Start from stock. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we'll definitely be getting into this image, I think, today. <laughs> and if we don't... Um, get into that image, we could definitely 
Ooh, and that's from yesterday. Here. My <laughs> mom had me edit something for her. Oh. She's like, I can't get to, to Chicago. Can you edit my hand holding this thing? I hope my cousin's not watching this because my she told my my okay. My mom told her she was gonna go to the bean and take it this photo of like her daughter's thing because she has to like have this little head yes, thing go yes. around the world. And then my mom's like, I don't have time to go. So can you Photoshop my hand oh in my it? Gosh. And I so if you see it on there, that's what that is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, so yeah. Uh, Rob's my, like, she will tear up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, that's her. <laughs> oh, good old Rob. I love Rob. First of all, also, everyone go cool check out Rob. with his little check mark. He's I know. Rob's, a, Rob's the real deal, okay? <laughs> really, really big deal. And he is such a great illustrator. He's such a great dude. Really, like, supportive and just awesome. I can go on and oh, I just well, thank you go guys on for, for tuning days. in. Yes. Yeah, Cloudy Max is amazing. Yeah. Uh, definitely, that's a goal for sure. Mm -hmm, Either in the, mm -hmm. this year, or next year. Absolutely. Definitely want to go. I think Absolutely. Feel, feels like such a that's your space. Cool. Yeah. You haven't been yet? No, I haven't. Oh, we need you I out know, there. I know. We need you out there. <laughs> need to go. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in my bag next time. Okay. I got you. I will fit. Yay! Somehow. <laughs> you will. I already know. <laughs> oh, hi, Eduardo from Brazil. Hello. Oh, cool. if you're just okay. joining us, we're okay. here with Elise. It's me. Yay. Elise I guess we got a couple minutes, so whatever you want to talk about until then. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so this is also another edit I'm considering. I wonder what. Oh, what maybe would, we should. Maybe help we them should pick. see. Yeah. Right. Maybe Everyone you guys can pick, pick what you want to edit today. Yeah, what do you so want Elise to edit? You can so edit this, this one image. with the waterfall, skyline, the bird. bird. This or, is so this is pick one. Okay. Or we can do, let's go back here, look at all my stuff. Boom. Or the sunset LA. Sunset. Mm -hmm. Silhouette. So ask, or I mean, in the chat, let us know which one you want Elise to edit. Ooh. Let us know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you get to choose. You get to choose, you, get you to guys. Choose. We get to choose. <laughs> you get to choose. Um, uh, Muhammad had a question, I think. Uh, uh -huh. How long have, uh, did it take you to, or how long did it take you to Oh, to, to do this picture? picture? Um, yeah. to do or it. to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I honestly think, I think this one probably took about 30 minutes mm -hmm. or so, maybe 45. And then the other one, I actually edited like live in front of someone. Oh, we actually, I, okay. I did a, a favor to a friend where she had just graduated college and she needed this like little interview thing and mm -hmm. she thought it'd be great to do one with me. And so um, we walked around Chicago and I just was like shooting random pictures mm -hmm. and, then she, and then I sat with her and then I did that edit of that picture that I just had shot. Yeah, yeah. Like sitting down outside with her. So I oh. think it was a really, um, it was really random. Yeah. But I think okay. that's like one of my favorite edits. I don't even, I never You're do that. You're just like, okay. I never do that. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, cool. Okay, so, so it seems like waterfall. Say, oh, I got, I saw a lot of sunset first, but maybe keep going. <laughs> well, Chris asked, when do you, ed when, when you say edit, what do you, um, do you mean start from the beginning? Um, so when I say edit, I mean, I'm probably putting things together. I'm collecting stock. I'm mm -hmm. putting a canvas up, I'm putting things in, and I'm finalizing, and I'm sending mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. That's like an that's edit. That's the edit, yeah. yeah that's an edit sure. time for me, it's a time frame. <laughs> okay, we got, okay, so sunset, waterfall. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay. both are comps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seems All like right. it's pretty split. So yeah, I mean, I guess oh, if good. once everyone yeah. comes back from chat and win, I guess we'll have like a true answer. Yes. So in chat and win, during chat and win, I want you guys to answer. Okay, sunset photo or waterfall. Um, so yeah, time for chat and win, and we will be right back. Let us know. Yay. Welcome back. Hey, Time hey. for chat and win. Ooh, sunset, sunset, Ooh, waterfall. I think it's kind of split. It is really. Look at waterfall. Chat and win. Chat, chat and win. win. You guys, we're waiting to hear who is the winner of our stickers. Okay, we. I think the stickers Ooh. are great too. This is so hard. People are like kind of <sighs> split. It's like, okay, <laughs> I'm kind of starting to see more waterfall. Yes, yeah, babe. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. 
Okay, I think the waterfall. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. I think so we've too. got a winner. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> well, if anything, you know, if we finish the waterfall, then you can start on the sunset. We so. can do this all Yay, day. Yay, congratulations like. to Camille. Um, you are the winner of our stickers. You'll get a message on Behance to redeem those. Um, and then if you didn't win, that's okay. Everyone's a winner because you can still go to stickermeal.com slash Adobe Live 20 and you'll get 10 stickers for a dollar, which is a great deal as what? well. So That's amazing. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, I, this it seems, seems like since we announced the winner, the sunset has sunset's come up. Sunset's taken over. Yeah. You know what? You did waterfall like <laughs> yesterday. I did. So let's sunset see the sunset. Sunset it is. Sunset it is. Sunset, sunset, sunset it, is. it is. All right. Okay. You got it. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Now, that was hard. <laughs> that was hard. I'm sweating. I know. We should have been like tallying the entire time. I'm like, okay, which one went? <laughs> that would have been extra. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been easier probably. Probably. <laughs> cool. Okay. Mm. I'll let you do your thing. All right. Now. Let's go into Photoshop. Yeah. This is what we worked on yesterday, yeah, by the way. so Just make sure to watch review. the replay of that because that was super fun. Look we performed this. surgery on that giraffe this, a little bit. We did. This is unheard of, by the way. You see all these layers over There's here? There's so many. Woo! This is ne this is that is, not normal for you? This huh? is not normal. It's like this usually is, like three oh, or four, it feels huh? So good. Oh. It just feels like there's like this unlimited ability. Like, ooh, it's been yeah, I've been held back for a very long time, you guys. Aww. This is like this is like candy for me. This is like a cookie. This is like a Sweet cake, treat. cupcake. <laughs> Love it. Gone for a while. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document. Okay. I've been working in this little size so far, so I'm gonna keep it going. And just keep that canvas. So you'll notice I like to squeeze in and out a lot. Yes. Because I like to kind of just visualize what it looks mm -hmm. like from afar. Mm -hmm. Get in there with editing. Um, so right now my first step is going to be now. I'm going to be using a lot of Adobe stock, which is really Incredible. exciting and useful for this specifically because the way that Adobe stock works is that when you use Adobe stock mm -hmm. or when you download something from adobestock.com, it allows you to choose a specific folder to download it in. Now, I've got um, a few libraries here mm -hmm. already to go mm -hmm. where I've got downloads and I've also got Adobe Live, so I've got all these things ready to yeah, go so that we don't yeah. have to go through too much. Um, because it's just connected to the cloud. Yes. So as soon as you download it from the website, then convenient. it just pops up. Yeah. yeah so that. that you don't necessarily need to take up too much space even in your camera roll. A lot of people, right, you know, right, for me, right. I actually, <laughs> I've got 120,000 photos on my phone. So <gasps> oh my maybe I'm not one to speak to it. But I know there are people who are very wow, careful about I thought the space I was bad. on their phone. Mm -hmm. I thought I was bad. I have well, like 35,000, but It goes back girl, to like 2013. Oh, that, yeah, that kind yeah. of makes sense then. Yeah, yeah. it yeah, goes back sure. a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then even then, I lost my phone between, I think it was like yes, 2000, I, I think it was like 2015, 2014, 2013. I like oh lost gosh. most of my work oh. since then, but I like kind of found a little bit of it here and there since yeah. then. But yeah. um. Yeah, that, wow. was, that was a that's, lot. That's, yeah. yeah. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> uh, so we're going to start off with our cloud layer. Because why not? I'd say. Yeah. It could uh, it could go in either first or second. Yeah. Because we're, we're going to switch it out with, um, we're not necessarily switch it out, but we're going to um, merge it with this downtown sunrise yeah. image that fun, I... Fun. I like downloaded it of LA and they wanted <laughs> the image to be specific to Adobe Max. Adobe Max was in Los Angeles mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. last year so it was it was uh, important for me to embody the LA feeling yeah. and yeah. to get the color and then the, the vibes yeah. of LA. Yeah. So I really I like wanted um, some palm trees, I wanted sunset, I wanted some you wanted wet. all the things. I wanted that represented, mountain. Yeah, I wanted to you know, like you know LA. something. Yes, yeah, I wanted sure. to get it all. Absolutely. And that was. I think that's kind of also um, a lot of how I conceptualize. I try to pay attention to, and this is business wise as well, is um, how to appease a brand that you're 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 trying to impress is is mm -hmm. by studying what the what purpose they, is, yeah, yeah. what's the message that they're trying to give, what's yeah. the feeling that you're trying to convey, and um, what's their style? What what does mm -hmm. that brand yeah. already kind of contribute to the world and mm -hmm. what that kind of energy is? Yeah. And so merging and how, how you, you can feel, mesh mm -hmm. your vibe yeah. with theirs and yeah. just like marrying the right, two. Right, Well, this is the thing. You're putting this on your feed. This is for your people, you know? So you yeah. want to, it's got to be a 50-50 mm -hmm. yeah. road, you yeah. know? So you just want to make sure that you're happy, but also the client 
clients happy and you can do that by just educating yourself and mm -hmm. studying just a little bit look yeah. at their Instagram look at their website look at their past um, ads look mm -hmm. at you know I like yeah. studying yeah. old advertising because sometimes you can kind of piece together yeah. what and they want see and what, what they the, like or, yeah well you know, this is yeah. the thing too a lot of these big brands at the end of a lot of these influencer like projects uh -huh. they have to go to meetings and they have mm. to show all these influencers work to the, the higher ups wow. and they have to present these on presentation boards or mm -hmm. on on um, PowerPoints, you know, in these big meetings. Yeah. And like for if I'm thinking about that high up and thinking about where that per like where that person's coming from, mm -hmm. I want them to look at my work and be like, that person really killed it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Instead of someone not to to dismay anyone with you know, <laughs> yeah. <'cause they're, laughs> but like people who will just take a selfie and be like, you know, this is yeah. my product. Like that's not gonna impress somebody in a meeting mm -hmm. or an office. So you really have to think about if someone's turning through a magazine, if someone's, yeah. you know, how are you, how are they gonna feel about that? Too about mm -hmm. like that stays true to you exactly. as well. So exactly. for sure. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So I can't I've I've gotta stay true to myself, mm -hmm. gotta stay true to what is the end end game for advertising and marketing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Can't cannot take the artistry away from it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, Chris Moreno has a question. Yeah. Um, he's asking, do you still edit photos from back then? Um, do I still edit photos from like back photos then? that maybe you might have taken before? Oh or yeah, like oh yeah. In the past? Absolutely. I actually have an entire. Um, like album on my phone of stocks of my own imagery. So mm -hmm. I still use images from 2015, 2016, 2017. Oh, wow. Some of my favorite ones, yeah. um, just because I feel like I can well, use them, them then. So, I don't want to hold yeah. myself back from an idea. It's the same way I use Adobe Stock or whatever I yeah. need. I, I, If I have an idea and I want to accomplish it, I'm gonna go for it. So mm -hmm. um, whether yeah. that be using an image from, you know, five years ago, or mm -hmm. whether it be using an image from yesterday, I, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try to at least. I think it's so interesting this kind of like, um, um, not struggle, but um, like between creatives and artists who are very um, adamant about like taking their own photography right. and being like, I took it all and I did all the, everything. But mm -hmm. then there's also like the creatives that are like, well, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't need to take everything and I it's, like if I yeah again like you have an idea yeah yeah it's a conflicting it's thing. a conflicting That's situation I mean there's you know there's there's purists and then there's people who yeah. never shot a photo in their life you know it's, yeah and collage and, and make these amazing mm -hmm. yeah. composites it's just it's a taste thing. yeah it's a taste it's thing whatever for sure. you want to feel you want. comfortable with whatever you love whatever makes you feel happy at the end of the day um, I mean, when I initially started, of course, there were a lot of people, you know, why don't you get a real camera? Why don't you do this? Why don't you, why don't yeah, you edit yeah, that? Yeah, various, uh, th I think it's because the, they're afraid of learning something new. They yeah. don't want what they love to be taken away. No one's trying to remove mm -hmm. anything from you. No yeah. one wants to be like, okay, never use Photoshop on desktop or Lightroom on desktop ever again. Yeah. That is not what I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to be an example for the people like me, you yeah. know? It's yeah. not about changing anything else. So I think sometimes people come from a, a, a fearful place, Yeah. yeah. but, um, yeah, no, I, I think like it's that. I think it's an exciting thing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And it's it's more just like you wanting to share what's available. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. I and plus, I like we just already talked about at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I started off as a broke person. <laughs> okay, I had nothing, and to be so elitist and like. Mm -hmm. Like it in that nature is so yeah. so demeaning sometimes. Yeah. So I just try to speak from a place of ability of, yeah. of privilege. You know what I mean? Like I understand where that's at, where I'm yeah. at now, where I can have access to yeah. things. But I Absolutely. remember and I will never forget where I came from. So I like that's that. my biggest. Thing. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got some really great questions right now. Um, I think Mohammed had asked like, how do you usually come up with your concepts? Um, how do I come up with my concepts? My concepts really, ju they they kind of come from like what I feel I'm lacking, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. <laughs> what I haven't done well, um, what I think I could improve be better on. at and okay. improve on and how I can become more personable, more creative, more mm -hmm. um, just inviting, I think. Uh, but I also, I think the, the greatest thing for me is um, I think uh, I've I just tried to stay in my own lane by just adjusting what my mistakes have been, mm -hmm. and so that I think that's really the biggest. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like that. I dig that. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Oh yeah. Sorry guys. Oh good. Maybe having a little, little glitch. Um, nice catch on seeing that. <laughs>
Oh, um, Paul Alvarez says, any idea when Photoshop on iPad will get a CMYK mode? No idea. <laughs> Um, you said, am I done using it? That's a great question. Yeah. No. Okay. We, uh -uh. Can, we can switch it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, Paul asked, any idea when Photoshop on iPod will get a CMYK mode? But I'm not sure if that, I don't know. I don't know if I can answer that. Yeah. Because CMYK I wish I could, though. is like the color profile for like printing or like that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't know when you're working on when iPad, I it's do very mobile. Like so. a new. Do they document. have options for CMYK? Oh no, okay. So, yeah. they just so you have... see that, you see how it just mm -hmm. said that? Uh, yes, we know color mode is important. We are working on it. Oh, <laughs> there you go. All that answers there the question, There it is. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that definitely answers it. But um, that's why I didn't switch between the modes because I'm already aware that yeah. this is the yeah. situation. Okay, and cool. This is also, Good to know. I mean, this is what, you know, a situation that I run into and this is why I'm so used to doing this kind of stuff is mm -hmm. I don't question the limitations. I just keep going and figure it yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, I think that. Yeah. Cool. So we've got... Okay. Our background image here. Okay. I I feel like I will need the internet, but we'll see what happens. Maybe not. I don't think so. Maybe. I um, mean, it's kind of working. Yeah, it's kind of working. At so, least the images are all showed up. <laughs> yeah, I know they day were not one, doing that the it first was day. Like bad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so now we're just uploading um, a, an Adobe stock image of downtown LA and LA. Sunrise. I don't I don't know, let me tell you this. I don't know much about LA, but this photo might be really <laughs> old and there might be some buildings missing. So, I'm, so if you're <laughs> from LA and you're like, this is from 2000, like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. So um, we're, we don't know, but it's it's gonna work for Oh, it's for gonna this, work, so. absolutely. <laughs> we're gonna make it work. Yes, so this, image is, is kind of a rendition I like to do. I've, I've been doing a lot of um, palm trees against kind of like really pretty skies. Mm -hmm. um, I really like working with silhouettes. I've been working with this, the Chicago skyline silhouette for a really, really long time. I just like a simple, mm -hmm. um, straightforward, just throw it together mm -hmm. kind of deal. And then afterwards, I, I bring it right into Lightroom because, you know, my favorite thing is just putting that that filter yeah. right on it, yeah. bringing it all together, Making doing it all a little cohesive. grain, mm -hmm. yeah. and I like to make it all cohesive. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. My work, um, it's not, it doesn't need to be exactly correct. Okay. Yeah. Like if you if you would look at an image like this or this edit, mm -hmm. you know, when it's finalized, I don't necessarily think you can shoot a photo like that. But when people look at it, they think it's a photo. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> and I love that because I think that's that's like what I'm trying to get at is it, it almost looks like um like it know, could have been something. Like it could yeah. be a photo, yeah. it could be kind of like a film, something like something, yeah, something. you know, anything. Yeah. Absolutely. So I like to just play with the play with the, the thought yeah. process on it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we've got our skyline here. Okay. Click done. And I'm also Perfect. gonna go ahead and change the opacity so that I can see kind of where I wanna where you wanna place it. Place. Yeah. Muhammad says, I didn't know anything about design. Two years ago, I started to watch Adobe videos, build my portfolio, <gasps> and because of that, alongside my hard work, I'm studying design in Germany right now. What? So I really appreciate what you guys do. Thank you. Oh, That's man. so sweet. That's, That's successful. So cool. That is so successful and so wonderful. I love congratulations, that. man. Yeah, That's congratulations, fantastic. and thank you for tuning into the live streams. I think um, thank you for they're sharing that. really great for anyone who just wants to learn mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. you know, just get inspired. Like, we yeah. love this resource for uh, sure. Uh, we're here. I was pointing right here. <laughs> you see what it says on my shirt? It says, child of the internet. <laughs> I am a child of the internet, and I believe that everyone can be a child of the internet. I learned everything I know on the internet. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. learned how to be. You I learned how, how to do not something. Yeah. You, you would look it up and mm -hmm, you'd figure mm -hmm, it out. Mm -hmm. I've shared all my successes. I've shared all my failures through it. I've, I feel like it's been a family process. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's such a cool um, experience, but you know, with our time and our generation, social media can be really difficult. But yeah. if we look in all the right places, we can genuinely find something and, and really someone too that can really it. assist yeah. you Community. in becoming more confident in yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's not about becoming someone else; it's about becoming you. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. So Fun. we've got our sun um, or our, our skyline here of LA, mm -hmm. and now I want to go ahead and mask that uh, top of it. You know I like to do my gradient masking. So I'm just gonna see if I can 
Ooh. Blend this okay. a tiny bit. Yeah. Ooh. Now you'll so see. Good. It looks like. Looks like it just belongs. I know. <laughs> I know. So we can also kind of move it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So looks a little. Awesome. Absolutely. I love so, those colors. Me too. And I might give it a little. Mm -hmm. And I love that you use the great like the gradient to oh, yeah. kind of mask. I might actually use the this now because it feels more. yeah, it feels a little too close. Mm -hmm. And I just want to make sure that I'm not holding myself back, you know? <laughs> so let's go yeah. with that. Make sure it's wide, make sure it's a little softer. So we can kind of paint it a little bit. I like to paint. The sky a little bit. And I'll bring it back down yeah. below there as well. We'll figure that part out in a second. Yeah. Oh, Paloma up. says, love the shirt. And yes, I am a COTI too. Show yes. <laughs> uh, it's also what Hashtag. my um, what my um, TED Talk is called. It's I like that. Child of the Internet. So you'll see. So there yeah, go. there you go. There you go. Oh, they're getting, it's getting there. there. Absolutely. Make this a little softer. Mm -hmm. Cool. Fun. Absolutely. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions about anything during the stream, feel free to ask them. Anything relating to even, you know, kind of the business or side of art and, and sharing your mm -hmm. artwork on Instagram. Um, any questions about, yeah, just anything, um, Elise will be happy to answer. I love questions. Yes, we love them. Love. Okay, so let's add our other layer. Can go here. And I feel like maybe, no, let's add, mm -hmm. let's go to our camera roll actually. Okay. Go to our Adobe Live. And I've got these hills here. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. This is how I made the, the, the hill <laughs> in the other images. So you'll see was actually quite a silhouette, right? So mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a add clipped adjustment to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do maybe a brightness contrast. We'll just turn that brightness all the oh, way yeah, down and build go. that contrast all the way up. So we can actually do this a few times and just go ahead and do, I'm just gonna do a little merge down. Mm -hmm. Something will it do? Oh, here we go. Merge down and then I'm gonna do it again. Add clip. Bright contrast, brightness. Ah, and to make it see. super dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then I'll also, so let's merge it down again, and then I'll duplicate that layer, <laughs> flip it if I must. Ah, I see what you're doing. I think I can do it here. Thanks. Flip. Leah says, I finally converted over to an iPhone. <laughs> well, Last of my tribe to hold out yesterday. <laughs> I'm excited to start taking more uh, pictures. That's Welcome awesome. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the club. It's a good, it's a fun one. I mm -hmm. promise. Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. Alberto has a question. Um, now that AR filters are trending on Instagram, have you tried? Or do you have any plans on you know, oh, diving man. into that. I would love to um, make my own filter. filters. Yeah. Yes, I want to oh make gosh. my own filters okay. so bad. I'll tell you like a really funny story. Yeah. I like also was like, so one of my friends made mm -hmm. a filter and I was like, I'm so curious about this. I want to like see like what it takes to like, yeah, what does it you know, take? To, and then um, there's like a program. I forget what it's called exactly, hmm. but it's a program for to create like an Instagram filter. What? And I opened it and it looks so scary and I just, You're just like, like get out of here. Bye. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it is so it's so intimidating. Yeah. But it's you have to really know a lot about mm -hmm. like I don't know. I don't know if there's like coding involved or like things but it's, it's insane. Well, it seems like everyone's got one now, so who is making it for everyone? I, I mean, is everyone a coder? Is like individuals knowing? are just making maybe their own. Maybe I can, maybe I, I, I need to can, just, maybe just like learn it, but Spark it, it looked very, Spark gonna, AR, that's what it was. Said it. Alberto, Alberto said it, shout yes. out to Alberto. Shout out. Uh, maybe someone else, I don't think anyone else said it. We're no, but Spark Alberto AR, that. that's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying, yeah. I was just trying to give him all the credit, but we Alberto gave him the credit. Alberto was like, um, <laughs> it looks scary, but it has templates and object 3D, so. Yeah, because I heard that, I mean, I have friends who have done it and they're not, I mean, they don't, know any of that kind of stuff, yeah, but they, yeah. they have but filters somebody, and I feel like yeah. they've, huh, I'm gonna do it. I you wanna should, do it. I think it. it'd be cool to do like a giraffe oh face or something or some kind yes. of like, oh something that has to do with whatever I do, like something. It'd be cute if you did like a little, you know one of those like glasses that like wear like 
an, an animation goes by across it. Oh and you yeah. Go swoops, oh, like uh, you know, that'd be lit. That'd be that'd cool. Be lit. <laughs> but we got ideas. We got plenty got of ideas, ideas, and they're exciting. All right, so let's keep playing with this. Perfect. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some palm trees. Awesome. And while you do that, a yes. uh, question from Muhammad. Um, how do you keep yourself motivated, Elise, and to produce this quality work? Mm, how do I keep myself motivated? I am motivated by my, and we talked about this a little bit yesterday, mm -hmm. I'm mostly motivated by my routine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, yes. I'm very motivated by educating myself. I read a lot of books about, mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, I'm reading a book about what clients love. It's called mm. What Clients Love. Okay. I, I forgot who, who it's the, by, uh, but, um, mm -hmm. but it's about just how to build your business, how to I better like your business, I how like to um, pay attention to what people want, how to, you know, how mm -hmm. to pay attention mm -hmm. to what clients want from yeah. work. Yeah. And I think for me, my motivation for a long time was a struggle. Um, I was mostly motivated by inspiration, mm -hmm. which inspiration is fleeting you know mm -hmm. it's very it's, it's you never not, know when no. you know you it's not all the gonna time gonna it's not constant right so. and so i decided that instead of relying on inspiration i decided to rely on um you know just being Your consistent emotion. yeah being consistent right yeah and sure. um and with that consistency started my morning routine. So I started mm -hmm. taking sunrise pictures. I started reading every day. I started writing um, affirmations every day and i think a lot of those things started like bleeding into yeah. my my work yeah. and my my inspiration and my motivation mm -hmm. and the way that I approached a lot of things and so now it's not so much about how imperfect I am it's really about how can we keep going and educating ourselves mm -hmm. and that's the excitement it's yeah. not you know it's 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 not anything else but the continued growth through yeah. that and that's yeah. where my motivation come from comes from is just knowing there's so much more to learn there's so much more to do you know yeah, absolutely. so it's exciting I it's like really that. exciting yeah that is very exciting yeah absolutely so we've got our palm tree here and you'll notice it's got a white background but we're gonna go ahead and do a blend mode mm -hmm. do a multiply nice and we'll see the white is gone. So Amazing. let's resize that. Just kind of bring it around where you see oh, fit. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. It's so it's so fun when you start it's to see so it all fun. come together. Yeah. <laughs> I remember making this and I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. this is gonna be a like, heater. Oh, I know oh. people are gonna like this one because mm -hmm. it felt good. Yeah. It felt good to make, <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and do libraries again, Adobe Live, and we're gonna add another palm tree. Awesome. And I think this question kind of went away, but um, mm -hmm. somebody had asked if most of your work tends to be uh, digital or if any of it gets printed. Uh, yes, some of it does get printed. I do do prints, um, but I, I mean, even the artwork from the hat that you gave me yesterday, that, you know, that's mm -hmm. physical. Oh you know, yeah, so, I, mean, I mean that's because that's illustration, and I did it on Illustrator, and they were like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, but I mean, with, it is your work still. It's yeah, well, work. when it comes to like like my Instagram photos, they're a little difficult because okay. I can't blow them up that much. Right. Um, okay. They are at like thirteen hundred by like fifteen hundred so pixels, pretty, and they're like not yeah good pixel quality um, for printing. Yeah. But I have done prints for people at like. I think it's like 16 by 20, okay. and those are like the greatest. So those are as big as I can mostly yeah. go. Okay. But um, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're like, well, that's no. what happens so, when you. Uh, well, that's I, I actually I I don't sell prints anymore um, because I'm I'm trying to. Um, do some more like fine art type of things. Okay. I, I want to really make my art a little bit m less accessible. I was doing a lot of giveaways with mm -hmm. my prints, mm -hmm. and I felt like it was almost like d deteriorating the the, the, the quality, of it, the or quality the, yeah. you know, like yeah. the, the the number of it, yes. or whatever they yes. call you know the thing. Yeah. And the, so I um ended up kind of just cutting it off yeah. and just focusing on this type of work right now because I don't, I don't want to send anyone prints that aren't the best, and I don't want to not. Um, I, I just want to make sure that I feel like everything's worth what it is. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, but if people like email me and they want to print, I definitely send people prints. Okay, yeah, well, that's so. mm -hmm. on our website. You <laughs> know our website. You know where it's at. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, Voodoo Boss is uh, value. The value of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Val value. The Val value. <laughs> Okay, so we also, now you'll notice there's like white at the top, right? Yes. Um, but we kind of want to fill that in. So I'm going to go ahead and do the color picker here. Maybe we can just pick a color there. And we'll try to 
maybe fill it in somehow. I would like to do a gradient, but I don't think that they have a gradient like color, no color to color type deal yet. So um, I'm just gonna maybe see if we can do, actually, so what we should do, do a new layer because that's <laughs> what that's what we should do. And then do that. Maybe drop there. Oh yeah, there you go. We'll blend it out eventually. Blend it out. Maybe pick a little darker color. Maybe oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for putting me in that link, Voodoo Bell. <laughs> yeah, pick this color a little bit. Just grow this out. Mm -hmm. Opacity down. You'll see, we kind of have a little bit oh, yeah, of there you go. here. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Just want to make sure. I bet you, just like as you're doing all this stuff, it feels like <laughs> kind of like you're painting, like when you're oh, like a yeah. little kid, you know, oh, yeah. like you're just like. I'm finger you painting. Know, finger I painting. am finger painting I by like far, for <laughs> sure. I, uh, that's, I mean, that's definitely why I like working with my hands mostly. Mm -hmm. It just feels like I have more control and I'm just really, not at the expense of any kind of pen, but I think mm -hmm. the Apple Pencil is really great, to yeah, be honest yeah. with you. I think it's fantastic. Awesome. But I think my, I think it's mostly hard for me because I'm not used to like the pressure type things yet. Like yeah. the little, you know, yeah. Con the, yeah, the little thing. So I don't, we'll figure it out one day. <laughs> we'll figure it out one day. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pick another little darker color. Just kinda. Keep Hello, Tristan. Thanks for joining us. If you are here right now, we are here with Elise mm -hmm. Swopes. Um, she is Good. doing this like fun little LA sunset uh, composite started that was from scratch. For, started from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, grabbed all of her assets from Adobe Stock. Mm -hmm. So super cool. And this was for Max, right? Adobe Max. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's awesome. Absolutely. So I've kind of. I wanted to add another layer there, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks good. Oh yeah, I like that a little <laughs> better. Okay, so we're also going to now, mm -hmm. I like adding people into my photos, mm -hmm. but a lot of the people I like to use are from PNGs, and a lot of the PNGs can kinda, um, they don't really make a lot of sense. I mean, who are these people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, uh -huh. I don't even know if I even You're like um like really want them shown in there. So the same kind of thing that I've been doing. This is how I just make people into silhouettes. Yeah. So I'll merge down. Then I'll do the same kind of thing. <laughs> oh, Travis nice. says, "Wow, great job! The sunset blade, uh, blending is on point." Thank you so much, yes. Travis. Looks Appreciate good. you. So you'll see now that I've you know kind of mix these people up so that they don't look like themselves anymore and they could just be anyone. Oh. Yeah, I love that. Let's bring that and that down. just looks like it's part of the scene too with yeah, you know, exactly. the mountains and the, the palm trees being also silhouette. So Absolutely. it just makes sense. So let's put these peoples, bring them a little smaller. This is where we can come in here. And place them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now they're looking at the sunset too. Cute. Wow. I love that. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> do they want to stay there? I don't know. <laughs> so we can also do the same. So sometimes we get lucky though, mm -hmm. where we do have um, a silhouette that is already cut out. So nice. Sometimes what it takes is just to put them where they they should go. Oh, yeah. This guy is also oh. not totally blacked out, so we'll also <laughs> still add him, give him his own. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Kenya says, very cool, and Aaron says, beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. So you kind of just make him so smaller, cute. if we can. Oh, oh there, oh, there you is. go. <laughs> that takes a couple. We'll try. Yeah. Very nice. Absolutely. And then you can also, if you feel like adding some stars, I think it's in here. No, it's not. Um, let me do my camera roll. And I think we've got some stars Ooh, in yeah. here. Yeah. Nice. These are the stars we used yesterday. Yes. Um, so this is a little trick I use. If you can tell that, um, you know, the stars are 
a different type of color, mm -hmm. right? Well, mm -hmm. we don't want them to be color because when we do a screen over the, the skyline mm -hmm. in the blend mode, that means those colors are gonna pop out and it won't be um, what we want. So mm -hmm. just to do another clipping mask, black and white, make sure we merge that layer just for no confusion later. Tends to get a little weird with the layers. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go here, blend mode, go down to screen. And now we've got a nice sky. Oh. I'll also add nice. a mask there. Go here. And you'll see the nice nice. sky going. I like that. And I'll also go here. I wanted to add a little bit of a uh -huh. kind of foreground. Okay. So I um, thought it'd be cool to add some. Um, Palm trees in the front to just give it just a little bit more little depth. Some. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So I like, I like to. I've been really working a lot with perspective lately. I think it's something that mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. excites me. When I see some of your work too, some mm -hmm. of your pieces, like you do add in those kind of like animals in the front, mm -hmm. like the birds, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. kind of like blur them out mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to kind of show like where things might be yes. and like exactly, you know, that exactly for sure. I want my graphic design to look like photography. In like, but like a weird photography. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it, it's not, it doesn't make sense, but it's it it just I don't know. It, it feels right yeah. for me. So yeah. I try to at least envision um, what that would look like, and yeah. it seems to be working. That's awesome. You know. Hi, uh, Lil Ja from Iceland. That's oh, incredible. I love Iceland. I've been to Iceland. Oh my god. We had a few days there though. Oh, uh, I want to go. Was there. it amazing? It was so oh, amazing. That's I want awesome. more. <laughs> more, more, more. Um, Judge VFX says that workflow looks so clean. Thank you. Appreciate that's, you. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, cool. everyone loves it. Thanks. Yes. Oh, we're, we're, we're not done yet. We're still going. Mm -hmm. So just to remind everyone, we do have the design feedback in under half an hour. So. Make sure that mm -hmm. you submit your challenges. Um, thank you to Paul for the daily creative challenge. He basically gave us the challenge of going from drab to fab mm -hmm. <laughs> using blending modes, um, layers for gradients and colors and all that jazz. So make sure to submit those because Elise will be giving some feedback on that and we'll be taking a look at those. We always have such a good time with those. I know, they're, they're so, so fun. fun. They're so yeah. fun. You know, you got, you got a good week too because I feel like this <laughs> Um, these past few design feedbacks have been like, everyone's been submitting. Yes. Everyone's it's been so submitting. Fun. So it's super fun. I love it. Thank you all for, for contributing. Yeah. yeah. so cool. <laughs> um, so now we've got this coming in here. And I'm going to just grow it Sweet. out quite a bit. Looks like it's coming from the edges. <laughs> and then I'll also do a little blend mode again. Don't need clipped adjustment. Just blend mode here. Multiply. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And I'll also do a little blur on that, just so it looks like it's in the foreground here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome back, Viola. <laughs> Maybe we'll move it around a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just to... Cute. I love that it, like, like compositionally, like, it comes across right. that whole sky, mm -hmm. which is super fun. So fun. Woo! I'm really happy about this. Maybe mm -hmm. we can add a little moon too. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> we, got, we got a moon in here. We got in the camera roll. See, this is where I, I have so many stocks, you guys. I have thousands of stocks. And sometimes I'll buy one and I don't even use it at oh the my moment. Gosh. But you might. But I might use so. it later. Yeah. So that's all that matters. That's all and that matters. I'm supporting <laughs> an artist somewhere. Yeah. Someone's getting a coin in their pocket <laughs> from yeah. somebody. Every time you download that stuff. Yes. Image. That makes me That's happy. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Let's put this moon in. Now, the same kind of trick we used um, for the stars mm -hmm. because you'll see that this moon layer here is blue, it's, it's right? It's blue, yeah. It's now, if I, I'll just show you an example. Now, if I do a blend mode with this, it's going to look like yep. that, mm -hmm. right? And another trick um, I'll show you after, right after, but let's go ahead and do a normal on this and let's add a clip to judgment, uh, adjustment, black and white. Mm -hmm. Make sure that we merge down. merge down. Now, if I go here, blend mode, and I do a screen, you'll notice there's still something yeah. going on there. Now, how to get rid of that? Do an add clipped adjustment, go to levels here, and just turn up the there levels a little bit. That's so easy. I, know. I would not have thought of that. I know, it's I nice. love it. <laughs> we tried it out yesterday and it worked. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> so now I know. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, Irene has a question. So which app 
should I use for iPhone? So what are some of um, your favorite? Adobe Mix is really, really fun. You can uh, composite in there. I'm pretty sure, uh, Photoshop Mix, I mean. I mean, um, Photoshop Mix is really fun to use. Um, Photoshop Fix is really great as well. Oh my God, I love Lightroom. After this, we're gonna go into Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how mm -hmm. I kind of finalize this image. Mm -hmm. um, Lightroom is always my last stop shop. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that there is a Photoshop app but it's yeah, not. Yeah, I think it's, it's the PS Express. It's a PS Express. Which I like to use for certain like little certain things, things, especially mm -hmm. like they have really improved the he the little like healing brush yes. tool. Healing on is there. really great. You Absolutely. can even adjust the size at now, mm -hmm. so that's super cool because I used to not be able to do that. Yeah. But um, yeah, and the PS Express, but. Yeah, I've never used it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've mm -hmm. opened it and it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's but simple. But I don't, you know, you know, we have yeah, talked about I mean, my healing. I don't really heal much. I'm yeah, not a healer. Yeah, you're not I'm a I'm like a, a stamper. Yeah. What are we, what was our word that we, do we make a word? Oh no, it was a blotter. A oh, blotter. That's the, blotter. that's because that's the that's, face is. Yeah, that's the face. That was a, yeah, no, that's the word. We invented something. We don't invented steal something. it. <laughs> um, yeah. Our so, name needs to be on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Oh, Jason says, Elise has great energy. Keep inspiring. Thanks. Oh, so You're great, Jason Jones. That's a great name, by the way. Jason, Jason Jones. Jones. Mm -hmm. Like a little alliteration. I like alliteration. Yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah, me too. Ooh, just feels good <laughs> saying it. Rosemary says, ooh, I like the moon. Me too, yeah, me too. right? That's so we're going to cool. move it a little bit because it looks a little funny right there. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll actually bring it behind. So you would hold this and bring it right behind. Okay. That now see something coming up there. Let's just erase this because we don't necessarily we need don't to need even be bothered with it. You know, <laughs> like who is that? Where is she from? So let's erase nice. that. Okay. Now we get the opportunity to just shade it down a little Cute. bit. Yeah, that looks really good. You, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Mm. Um, the Shashar Cat smile from Elsa Wonderland. Mm. So cute. I love cats. I love cats. Any kind of cat, Cheshire so cat, cute. weird cats, <laughs> mean cats. I love every cat. Like if you have a, if you know a cat that is mean, bring it my way. I You'll will give love it. Love. it. I will. It will scratch <laughs> me, but I will love it anyway. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna do a little clipped adjustment on that again because I feel like it could be interesting if maybe the sun or the moon was a little warmer. That's Ooh, just my okay. thought process. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know. Or even like a little orangey, right? Or like, like something. something. So let me see if I could try give a little it, bit give more. It a little. See now, if I start messing with the color, it's gonna change the screen. So, but mm. I know that if I did a little warmer, it might not mess the screen up, but it will. Let's erase mm -hmm. that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, let's add it again. Yes. Hue and saturation? No, I keep doing that. <laughs> what is, how do I find warming? Hmm. We'll find it. We'll find it somewhere. We'll find it somewhere. Delete. Vibrance? No. No. Not no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is, maybe, it's, maybe there isn't anything. Maybe I'm just gonna say color balance and I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. <laughs> like that. So I feel yeah. like that's warmer though. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. definitely warmer. Uh -huh. I think that's good. Uh -huh. That's good. That's great. Do you ever like edit for so long that you're just like looking at the thing and you're like seeing other things at this point? <laughs> um, you, you know, go, there go have been times, sometimes? I think, yes, there's definitely been times where, um, especially working on like a project, like the method project, yeah. was the hardest for me because there'd be days where I like had exactly what I envisioned in my yes. mind to like yes. accomplish. And then I'd get there and I'm like, why, why isn't this is this working? working? Why can't I piece yeah. this? Why is it? And I'd be working mm. for like eight hours. Oh just like sitting back and forth, sitting, yeah. coming back, you know, like, and yeah. I had to take a break, maybe 25 minutes and just sit there like, yeah. what is going on? And then oh all of a sudden it would click. And then and things something. would work. Yeah. Like at the end of the night, wow. you know, and I'd be of like, course. oh my God, I'm done. And you're like, why oh didn't I think of this earlier? Right. <laughs> why? Why? But sometimes that happens. Sometimes I that just, happens. I just get it's the so, process. yeah, it's the For process. For sure. Has anybody ever taken a really long time to edit something? What's the longest anybody's ever edited maybe a project or a photo? Let us know in the chat. I think video too is oh, like, video ooh, is like it's so, so tedious. Oh, I, edited, I think I edited, um, it was a start with stock video for Adobe by myself. It was three mm -hmm. five minute videos and then an intro. Oh and gosh. I shot it of myself, I edited it of myself. Oh my I did everything by myself, like at my house. No, like no one around it. Oh my God. <laughs> the sound. That and I edited all of it in one day and I just sat at my computer like this. You're just like, <laughs> I had like a glass of wine and I was like, yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> had to. Oh God, it was so much fun though. It was That's weird. Awesome. After I finished it, I was like, oh my God, I really did that. <laughs> I just did that. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We've got a couple good. of David. Hi, David from Egypt. That's amazing. Hello. Cairo. Um, oh, wow. Oh, Alberto says, I got kitty sticker swoops. Maybe I can find it at the home on the back of your iPad. <laughs> Please send um, me stickers. That's awesome. Shahid says, what's your opinion about camera raw and Photoshop? Um, camera raw. I actually, I mean, I studied camera raw when I was in school mm -hmm. at Columbia for like a semester. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, I said I dropped out of school. I went back to school for three years and I dropped out again. Oh. But <laughs> I, <was laughs> so I just like, got too oh. busy. I got too busy with work it's and stuff. Lot. Yeah, it's it was a lot. lot. It was a lot. lot. Um, mm -hmm. But I even tried to do online classes. Those are even harder. Like, I think it's, it's oh, You have God. to have way more motivation well, you have, for That's that. the thing. you got to, like, like sit down and read. you got to do it. it. And then when I had the other work, I'm like, I'm going to Japan. I'm going to Paris. You're and like, you're telling me to read about, like, something that has <laughs> nothing to do with anything. How, how long ago was this? This was in 2016. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so I've been out of school for a little bit. Wow. But I'd love for them to give me, like, life credit. I think they need to give me life credit. Yeah. I have one semester left. Give oh me my, my thing. And then they thing. like to talk about me too. They'll be like, oh, Swoops went here. Oh like, my you guys goodness. gotta you guys, clock me out. Clock just, me out. Just hand, hand me that paper. <laughs> Give me that paper. And then I'm <laughs> playing on the loans. I'm yeah. still paying the loans. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever. It's <You're>, life. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you're still about her. And you're like, man. <laughs> I should have listened to myself that first semester I dropped out. I knew I was like, I knew it in my gut. I was like, I don't need this necessarily, yeah. but it, you know, it's something we like, should do. Yeah, you know, I got to yeah. go through the motions. My mom's mad at me. Got to get it yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and now here we are, paying loans back oh, with no paper man. to show of it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but here we are. Yeah, but here life. we are. And here we are. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so people are responding to how long they've taken to edit something. Steve says a oh, birthday wow. graphic for a friend took a week. Oh. Whoa. Um, Alberto says spent editing overnight. I think I started around 7 and <laughs> gave up around 5. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Normally wow. when I wake up. <laughs> oh, Steve says, so right, Elise. They give honorary degrees to politicians. Right. Zero talent. You should get two degrees. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Come on, Steve. I'm going to screenshot that. that and I'm going to send an email to Columbia and I'm going to be like, listen here. Listen to Steve. <laughs> Festus Kossaboom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, an, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think I did okay. <laughs> It's a great name awesome. too. We got some good names. We got here. some good names in here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but thanks for the support. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated. Go follow her on Instagram. <laughs> I'm sure she'll share it on her stories. Yeah. I'm over here telling you what you're gonna do, but <laughs> I heard yep. She knows. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, so, you know, I feel like this is a pretty cool edit. I've succeeded with this. I'm yeah, happy. So absolutely. I'm gonna go ahead and okay. my favorite thing about this whole system with Adobe and their mm -hmm, programs mm -hmm. is that they're very um, seamless together. Yeah. And so if you go to publish and export here, you've got formatting. So you can choose, you do PNG, you mm -hmm. do JPEGs, you can even do a PSD if you'd like to save all the layers, which is yeah, fantastic. That is kind of right? nice, actually. It's huge. Um, but I'll just do a JPEG for now, keep it at high, and I'll do export here. And now you'll see we have a bunch of different options. You'll even see down here it says PS Express. Ah, so if you'd like to, you so if know, you'd like put to it, take it over to mobile, mm -hmm. you can. If you'd like to put it into whatever <laughs> you like. Um, I, I mean, like you'll see it. You can choose whatever kind of programs. But for now, we're going to go into Lightroom, and it's going to ask you. Um, you know, the share photo will be imported into the next app launch. Mm -hmm. So if you feel mm -hmm. like it, you can just hit got it, go back to it later, figure it out then. Or you can go ahead and do launch Lightroom now, uh -huh. and then you'll have the opportunity to, to bring it up. Bring it up. Boom. Sweet. And it's there. It. it is. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Absolutely. So I'll normally, I mean, we can try a little auto edit, but you'll notice that it Whoa, just freaked it really out. Just... So let's go back and not do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I mean, that's kind of, you know, you can see. Yeah, like a little where, more control, you know. Yeah, you'll see kind of where we started and how we kind of um, made what we have mm -hmm, possible. Mm -hmm. But go to browse here and um, got so many wonderful cool presets here that mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. really assist you with bringing all of that that imagery together mm -hmm. and you've got mm -hmm. this this tool down here to I have kind a question of, for you mm -hmm. when you're editing do you edit at the highest opacity at, of your screen oh yeah I'm like checking you, right now okay. that's why I just did you see me check it I looked at the brightness because I was like why does this look so so dark it looks so dark. <laughs> this is a problem with this edit too. People will probably like look at this edit on their phones and their brightness is like all the way down all the way and down. they'll be like, I can't even see what Elise posted. Like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> like turn your brightness up yeah, maybe. Yeah. But that's, it's a that's struggle. That's the reality. That's the reality yeah, of people... a lot of people. They cannot see my work on Instagram because it's a little dark and their their phone bright, brightness is really low. 
Mm -hmm. But I always make sure to edit with the brightness all the way up. So yeah. I'm not missing any yeah, detail. Yeah, any details. Yeah, um, absolutely. And my phone is mostly always at the, its brightest unless I'm mm -hmm. like in a dark room and I don't want like everything to be lit by my phone. So I'll like mm -hmm. turn it down, mm -hmm. like, being a little sneaky. But <laughs> um, other than that, it's always, always lit yeah. to the max. I so. like that. Me too. Yeah. Always. Gotta, gotta lit to the max. <laughs> Yes. This purple's kind of nice. Ooh, I like it. That's not what I envisioned, but I really but do like it. But it looks like cool. It. it does look cool. So you can kind of play around. This is really nice, too, actually. That's nice, yeah. Um, but you can kind of play, do your mm -hmm. own thing, have fun. So I'm going to go mm -hmm. with this one. Why not? That's so pretty. And uh, go back to profile. Get out of profiles, and you can go to light here if you'd mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. If you do want to boost it up, I think I did boost it a little bit knowing that it was kind of dark yeah. in Lightroom. And the nice part is is that if I do pick that exposure up, it's not gonna pick up that foreground, you know, that we were working with. So it's only kind of exposing that background, which mm -hmm. really helps us because now this image won't look so dark yeah. anymore. Yeah. And then if people do have their brightness all the way down, they'll still be able, to, still see be able it, to see it. <laughs> <laughs> which is great. Um, so if you'd like, you know, just make it a little more contrasty or semi mm -hmm, contrast, mm -hmm. a little less highlights. A little punchy. A little punchy. I like it. Bringing that in. It's interesting because this is like, I mean, I know, I mean, this is obviously still your work, but right. it is different color vibes than yeah. your normal. I mean, you're kind of more of the teal and the, yeah, the, for sure. you know, the bluey. Yeah, this one felt like really um, like it warm. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, a, it that's, warm. It's the LA vibe for me. Yeah. It, I was yeah. feeling it's everything. Like opposite I, of <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, Chicago's cold and windy mostly, except for the summer. The summer's the best, absolute best. Um, mm -hmm. But I think maybe that's where a lot of my cold, cool mm -hmm. colors come Wait, from. Wait, is, if I'm not mistaken, um, is Lollapalooza in Chicago? Yes. Okay. And it I rains really go. every Lollapalooza. Really? Everyone, there is a torrential downpour, <gasps> and everyone has to evacuate, oh and everyone gosh. goes home, and then they open it back up like an hour later. Oh, my God. And the God. exit is always, cr like, cr crazy. Oh, my God. It's just, and everyone gets soaked. Wow, yeah, that's, it's, it's that's chaos. Insane. Every single year. <laughs> I think I remember, like, I think it was, like, maybe nine years ago, eight years ago I went, and I, um... It was like a tornado warning, and I remember all of us like um, hid what? underground, like in the train station, oh waiting God. for it to pass by. That's insane. <laughs> I know. Wow. But it was great. We don't get tornadoes in Chicago, but it was still like a. It was, it was still, a crazy yeah. storm. So we always, every single time, every oh my time, gosh. every time. So if you go. Know that that may happen. That may happen. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. We get yeah. like a little notification of it being <laughs> it raining in California, and we all go crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm here. You're sprinkle. in streets like woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. I. I mean, I love um, bad weather. I'm a fan of like snow, rain, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. torrential mm -hmm. downpours. I think it's really me fog. Oh my God. It's, it's beautiful, really beautiful for photos. For photos. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm more. Um, inclined to go out and shoot when it's not sunny well, Also, out. it's like really, yeah, that overcast look always just looks very beautiful and so soft beautiful. and diffused. It's easy to edit. Um, very nice it is easy cozy. to edit. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Absolutely. So, um, let me see. Let me bring this brightness down a cool. bit more. Just White. about 10 minutes left, you guys. So make sure you submit to the challenge. Um, yeah, we'll be heading over to Discord to review those. So make sure so to head over to the challenge tab to get those in. So challenge. Challenge from Let's drab to fab. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's hilarious. I love I love him. <laughs> oh, he is awesome. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can, if you'd like, maybe make it a bit more blue. Ooh, okay, okay. It's almost like a night. Ooh, uh, like it a, is, a night right? In a versus like. Wow, like a, yeah. instead of like a instead sunset. Instead of being super right, like sunset, it's almost like that cool, like. Wow. Like cool hour. This you feels know? really cozy I like to it. me right now. It does now. feel cozy. Like, this feels nice. I want to hot chocolate eyes. in my hand or something. Oof, I like this. I think we're headed in the right direction. Yeah. Now I'll also like go it. to the hue change. Maybe this is where we get our teal from. <gasps> our teal. Ooh, is there. I like it. Just a little I boost. Like just a small boost. Mm -hmm, just a mm -hmm. small little boost. Mario's right with you. I love gloomy weather. <laughs> yes, it's the best. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, it's maybe. Um, a piece of me loves the fact that like everyone's calmed down, you know, like everyone has to stay inside, everyone's mm -hmm. chill. There's not a lot yeah. of expectation to go out, do a lot of stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think there's something really cool about just being calm. Yeah. And you know, yeah. to yourself with nature and I hearing like the that. birds chirp, hearing mm -hmm. the rain fall, just being there for a second. Presence. Yeah. yeah. It's a really That's present big. moment almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, me too. 
Um, Carol says the lighting feels like music. Doesn't it? That's mm-hmm. what I feel too. Like something is like it this. Sounds. Like it's so nice. I feel like this could be a toy, like a cover for like, um, you know that the DJ duo Odessa? Ooh, I've um, heard of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll send you some songs oh, later. Please. But they, please. It's, this vibe is their vibe oh, for sure. Um, with all the vibes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, ooh, you know what I didn't do is chop this guy four by five. Oh yeah, so t- maybe like talk a little bit about um, why, I do this. why you do that and maybe like, you know, your kind of tips and tricks for sharing on social media or on Instagram and, and even like export settings. I know a lot of people always, there's such a big um, discussion about like what settings to export mm-hmm. your images. Cause I know, you know, social media just kind of ruins quality sometimes. It does. So, and it's inevitable, but you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. What are your thoughts? And I actually, so I'm, um, because I, I, you know, I've been editing on mm-hmm. my phone for so long mm-hmm. and that I've kind of built up a little bit of bad habits <laughs> that hasn't necessarily always been a, a bother to me okay. um, I think where that quality lacks I make up for in grain mm-hmm. if that makes mm-hmm. sense mm-hmm. so I think that's where the grain comes from a lot is yeah. if you want to ruin my photo I'm gonna ruin it first <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, <Love that> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think I think that's kind of where that green comes from is just I knowing that there is this diminishing process when it comes to Instagram. But mm-hmm. um, my friend Alex Stroll, he just posted an Instagram um, post where he talked about his settings mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he talked about how he exports images. Um, and basically, I think it's just exporting for the web. Okay. And there's yeah, some kind of SR. Web. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, that's really it. And you want to make sure that you're at 4,000 pixels at your highest, mm-hmm. um, wherever that may be and whatever whatever space, height, width, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that was really all he said. Oh, and I was like, okay. oh, all right. That's cool. Cool. So I think so far that's... That's, that's worked that's, for you. That seems like yeah. that's worked. I ha- I ha- this is the thing, though. I don't edit on my computer. I don't yeah. have that option for that. So mm. I don't know if that's a thing. Now, got it. Got it. I know that that's possible, mm-hmm. but for me, not necessarily, it's not the biggest thing right now, but I, yeah. I'd see that, you know, if I have an image where it's not edited, it's just a photo, um, maybe I've edited in Lightroom, mm-hmm. and that's probably where the next step I take that. But for yeah. right now, it's gonna be where it's at. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thought. Cool. Um, and so the four by five? The four by five um, is, the greatest uh, height that can be done with Instagram. I'm not a big fan of horizontal because I feel like it looks so small in the mm-hmm. frame and mm-hmm. on Instagram. Somewhere I heard that um, my partner actually, um, Ellie, she had saw, she had seen somewhere that mm-hmm. like a four by five, like, you know, when you're scrolling on your feed, it stops you, you. It stops mm-hmm. you more. Well, it takes up more of the mm-hmm. frame. Mm-hmm. So whereas like a horizontal image, right. it like you literally can right. You can swipe, swipe it, right past right it past and then it's gone. And it just, yeah. yeah, there's more space gone. to fill within the frame on Instagram, and that With the four excites by five. me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I like to just make sure that I'm taking as much space, telling as much story as I can, mm-hmm. and using mm-hmm. that to my advantage. Yeah. I mean, Maybe it comes a little bit from being held back by doing the square for so mm. long. Oh my god, I know. When they introduced the four by five, I was oh. like, oh my goodness. It was, it was incredible, yeah. It was a really, really, it was mm-hmm. exciting time. So um, <laughs> I have been doing four by five since then. Every now and then I might do a square, just I don't know why it might be necessary, but mm-hmm. um, always four by Typically five. Typically four so by five. I like to okay. start with a four by five canvas, but I can't. When we first started the stream, <laughs> I asked everyone what the canvas size was for four by five, because I cannot remember anything for the life of me. <laughs> so we put some numbers in, and I've just been using that since. So, um, But I mean, I, I before I even mostly do anything, even my compositing, I like to start by four by five, so mm-hmm, that at least mm-hmm. that canvas size is as big as it can do. But now with Photoshop, that's not a problem. Yeah, you know, I don't. I'm not limited to a, a canvas space. I'm not mm-hmm. limited to um, the amount of pixels I can use. I'm not. You know, it's it's now the, the door's open for mm-hmm. this, and it's that's exciting. So I'm still trying to get a little bit more used to the opportunity there with that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of had a question about like yeah. for you as um, like mobile photographer and editor. Um, has there been ever like a struggle with like, like the technical side of things and or like any of that? I know like for me personally, like as a photographer, 
my concepts are always there and yeah. I always had really good ideas, mm -hmm. but I like <laughs> struggled with like like the technical stuff of like yeah. my camera even or like things where I'm like oh my, oh my gosh. gosh I mean it, it it's yes Alberto that's that's exactly what it is <laughs> um I um I mean I, I I hadn't learned how to use a real camera until um uh 2016 2017 mm -hmm. um and that was a struggle for me. I could not figure out, like, what is ISO? What yeah, is all of yeah, this stuff? What gosh. is F-stop? What are you even talking <laughs> about? But now it's it's not even about the words anymore. It's not even what they mean. Mm -hmm. It's about how it feels, what yeah, it looks yeah, like, practicing yeah. that. That was my biggest thing is I, I was always telling people, I was like, oh, just stop with the words. Stop telling me yeah. how you think I should do it. It's about me actually going outside, shooting, 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 testing, shooting, and testing and like seeing going. what works, yeah. seeing what doesn't. And that's how I learned. And now yeah. I know how I to that's shoot. One of the, that's probably yeah. the best way to do yeah. it. It's just to do it. <laughs> that's it. That's yeah. all you got to do. It's not about knowing the, mm -hmm. the, the names. Because I can promise you, I probably, even with a lot of this Photoshop stuff, um, I'm, I'm still... There's still words that I don't know. There's mm. there's still masking that there's I'm still learning about. Little details you know? and things that you know we're <laughs> yeah. like, what does that mean? <laughs> right, but you just you, you just do you it. You just Click do it. it, and it does. It's not about you know being perfect. It's just about getting this art to the masses yes. and having people be inspired by that because that's the goal. That's mm -hmm. the vision. That's what I it's like about. That. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So I mean. Keep learning, yeah. keep going. Consistency is absolutely everything, and it's one of the biggest um, things that you can focus on. You know, mm -hmm, it's not about mm -hmm. the inspiration. You know, it's not about the motivation. It's not about any of that. It's about consistency. It's not about perfection. You know, mm -hmm. it's about uh, progress. Um, yeah. So just keep that in mind. It's right? a big theme for sure. Yes, absolutely. Progress. progress. Twenty twenty mood. Progress mm -hmm. over perfection. Yes. Okay, I tell you, make fear your friend, make doubt your friend. Mm -hmm. Make overthinking your friend because that stuff's gonna happen forever. But you gotta learn how to respond to it. That's the mm -hmm. thing. No more reacting, just responding about yeah. what's going on, you know? Yeah, so for sure. I'm trying to be a responder, be present, be thoughtful in those ways, and it's really assisted me a lot. Yeah, I like that. And yeah. I, I mean, we can see it. I can Thanks. see it. <laughs> <laughs> we still learning, though. Still learning. There's still There's a lot about scroll. photography I have no idea about. And people will <laughs> tell me I'm their favorite photographer. I'm like, don't say that. <laughs> There are people like who are visual, like, uh, call me a visual I story. Just, I, just, I just call me your favorite swoops. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, I mean, unless you know my dad, then he might be your favorite, to be honest. But, um, <laughs> you know, just I mean, your favorite at least swoops. At the end of the day, Love there it. are photographers who are in war zones, you know, like <laughs> doing crazy stuff. And I'm like, um, like wow. They are doing crazy the, stuff. The photojournalists are oh, insane. My God. They just, they're just, I mean, I met one um, at Adobe Max, I think, like three years ago, four uh -huh, years ago, uh -huh. and she was just unbelievable. The stuff I'm sure she's seen. Or oh, my seen. God. I mean, I've got goosebumps again just yeah. thinking about it because it's, it's just traumatic. I mean, they're in war. They're at <sighs> war. That's you know, insane. and so that for me is like when I think about photographers, when I think about like people um, coming at poachers, you know, like people in Africa who are mm -hmm. protecting wildlife, mm -hmm. those photographers are putting their lives at risk yeah. every day. Yeah. That is huge. That is huge. Yeah, that's so insane. I try to give them as much credit as I can when I speak about what I do because I like to humble myself. I like to tell the truth and I like to make sure that, you know, who is doing the great work gets the credit. Mm -hmm. Because those are the people who inspire us at the end of the day. You know, I can create these visions, but these visions begin from reality where someone else has shot that reality, where it allows me to see mm -hmm. that, to yeah. see that that's even possible. Mm -hmm. So I, um, you know, I might not even seen this before without having the knowledge that it was out there by someone who actually went in the trenches and shot it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone's talking about Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule's great. Apparently, I use Sticker, Sticker Mule. Mule has holographic stickers now? What? what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, we up in you our Poke get on Pokemon that, levels then. now. <laughs> I'm about to give me a Pokemon card. Holographic Swopes. That's amazing. I love it. Oh, I said that in a rap, actually. You kind of did. Holographic Swopes. No, I actually say it oh, in one of my raps. Oh, you said that? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I say holographic what? swopes. What? Yeah. And look at your little nails, too. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. This one broke at the hotel, and I asked them if they had, like, a fly. Oh, they didn't have a fly, so it's good. Oh. All right. Ooh. All right, you guys. Well, we are ready for um, design feedback, so let's head over to Discord. 
Um, let me do a little refresh because we like to do that. And I'm going to do what we did yesterday where we went backwards cool. and like started from the bottom. Started from the started bottom. Started from the bottom. Hey. Mm, mm, started mm, from mm. the bottom. Not a, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we hummed it because I don't think we could say that. I know. I don't words. think we could say that. <laughs> All right. So this one's from Valentine Pierce. So again, the challenge for wow. today was to go from drab to fab. Um, I love cats, by, first of all. Using layers, yeah, cats are cute. <laughs> I wasn't a cat person until my brother cat. My brother got a cat. Oh, um, and now. They're, well, oh, once you get to cute. know a cat you and you cat. see them and like what they do, yeah. like you're like, oh, I get it. Yeah, I get you a little bit to an extent. Yeah, to an extent. And then they do some weird stuff, and you're like, I don't know. You're like, I don't know. I don't this. know anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I just, I just wish she was more affectionate. That'd be, that'd be cute. <laughs> yeah. But all right, so Valentine Pierce. Um, yeah, so working with a lot of layers and blending modes and gradients, so super fun challenge um, for today. Um, yeah, this looks super fun. So let's this. see, we've got a little bit of blending mode with the skull, mm -hmm. but then also all these like leaves happening. I like the leaves. And then, yeah, it's like, it's like a cat, like mm -hmm, cute mm -hmm. little cat or something. There's catnip. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cute. This is fun. And I think this was like kind of like the original like mm -hmm, image mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. in the challenge. So I like that it's very patterned. You know, mm -hmm. it's very um if you're I think if you're gonna do something, you either go all out or you go none at all. Mm -hmm. There's no like middle ground, you know? And yeah. I like that they were just like, okay, pattern, 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 let's pattern, pattern. You know, let's like let's go over. pattern. Yeah. Cause that's necessary to complete the vision. You know, you don't wanna just go half I keep saying ha in the the other word. Yeah. Don't wanna go don't half. Don't go half uh. You know? Don't go half hoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and then also I love that you added the little text in the back too. I That's love super it. fun because yeah, I like it. Um, just gives a little more context. Otherwise, I would probably have thought this was like devil or something. Ooh, like yeah, more maybe evil, that's what it was. Yeah, you know, it could have so. definitely because with the skull mm -hmm, and it could have been like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, that makes sense. Cool, cool. But I love this and I love these little like little bits over here down here. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Cool. Thank you, Valentine. Let's see. Oh, some oh, more people ooh, submitted. Yay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take a look at them now. <laughs> My dude, Shahid. Shahid. Shahid is back in the house. Shahid is back in the ooh, house. Oh, looks like he got inspired by you. Okay. That's fun. Very nice. I like, like it. it. I wonder if this is also like if this was composited. Like, Gotta maybe be this. Yeah. Right. I don't think that's a view there. Where's this at? I know. Where is this? Is Tell that us, Dubai? Shahid. No, that can't possibly be Dubai. I have no idea. I've been to Dubai though. Because it, Amazing. you know how tall the buildings can get. They're that could be insane. the Burj Khalifa, but I don't know. <laughs> the Burj yeah. Khalifa is so big. I went to the top of it. You just feel it like You're shaking. Like, huh? Oh Ooh. gosh, that's scary. It's crazy. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Valentine says, "Yep, go all the way. Love that." <laughs> all right. Well, this is cool. I think this is yeah. super fun and great job compositing. I'm curious to see what the assets were before, or Same. see the before. Um, would be cool. But thank really you, Shaheen. Cool. Ooh, okay, this is from Dave Mejia's. I saw him in the wow. chat. That's sick. Um, oh, he said he finished in time, too. Yeah. Well, thank God. Thank goodness that you submitted. So. <laughs> Glad you did. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> this is so cool. Me, too. I love the color editing, too. Uh-huh. And I didn't, I'm, like, trying to figure out what this texture is. I can't, I can't tell if it's, like, <clears throat> saran wrap or if it's, like, rain or it's if it's, like. It's, like, some kind of, like. Something, something, right? It could be yeah. like a thing, a saran wrap, or saran wrap. like yeah, some it's kind almost of kind of very like. Ooh. Maybe it's like rain, like long exposure rain. Yeah, or like, or like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of because it's very too. dark. Maybe there could be like mm -hmm. like lightning mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. by, and she just like came through, and she's yeah. like, "I'm Queen yeah. Death." I love that the whole vibe of the image too. That's cohesive. Mm -hmm. The colors and the eyes, even the colors, the, hair, the eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely good blending as far as the colors go and mm -hmm. all that jazz. It's I like that the photo feels very like 3D almost. Mm -hmm. Like it feels like everything's kind of like coming out. Mm -hmm. Like there's layers to it. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of dimension. Yes. Dimension. dimension. Yes. Because yeah. even like, yeah, the light is like. Oh, it's plastic. He said it's plastic. It's plastic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. See, I, that's yeah. what she said. Yeah. I was like something. Yeah. But no, it looks great. I think it, yeah. it adds a little like. <laughs> evilness to it. Yeah. Like, Viola said it looks like the thing I wrap my sandwich well, yeah, in. Well, yes, That's exactly what it is. Yep. Yes, sir. that's what you do. Love it. Love it. Yeah, it looks awesome. great. great. Actually, you know what this could be? What? This is an album cover yes. for um, someone. 
<laughs> for a band. I can't think of the name now. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> It'll come to you. <laughs> so it's like a screamo band, like something Ooh, like okay, rock. Okay. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Love it. Love it. I really like it. Cool. Thank you, Dave. Okay. And then we did see Valentine's. Ooh. Okay. This is from Jared. Um, wow. Another submission. Thank you for submitting again. Um, That's cool. Cool. I like that you wow. use your own face, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, they use their own face, mm-hmm. um, which is fun. Super cool. And added some of these like little um, florals over here. Mm-hmm. Super fun. Gradients. Um, I don't know if this is on purpose, but I don't see your left eye. <laughs> so eye's gone. Maybe, maybe it was on purpose. And it's maybe, like, maybe, maybe it's know. actually gone. Like maybe, maybe that's just, what the death face is. is yeah, her eyeballs been sucked It's taken out. over her entire life. Yeah, it's yeah. I feel or the death. Life. I feel. The I feel death. De- I feel death. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> and the colors, I think I love the texture too. This kind of like smoky, almost, mm-hmm. almost like like there's like a fire. Yeah, there's a texture. Going on. Someone maybe like had this photo and then they saw it and they were like, whoa, and then they dropped it on the ground and then it got kind of dirty. And oh. then they picked it up later and they were like, wow, this is old pic. Yes. I forgot about this. Yes. I just made that story. No, up, I like it. It felt right. I think it felt, yeah, it, <laughs> it went. It, it was great. I, I feel it. like I low key wish that the flowers um, weren't so like gradiented. I think it'd be mm-hmm. really cool if you like tied in the texture of that that front, um, you know, that that that, that foreground kind of, like, kind of texture, yeah, um, within that, and maybe kind of place maybe even the flower like on the head Ooh, or on something. The head It'd be or something. really, really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to make it all seem cohesive, you know. But mm-hmm. I think it's a mm-hmm. really, really wonderful idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jared. Um, uh, ooh, okay, oh. so this is from Leah there Michelle. Nice. These are the originals. Oh, thanks for providing those, because we always, like, mm-hmm. kind of never know until we, we get know. the submission, so that was great. Mm-hmm. Um, and then here is your challenge. Is my text too small? I wanted to crop out her shoulder cut off. Perhaps I should just go and make them. Looking at it here, I think I'm going to try in the dark red of the headband. Mm-hmm. What do you all think? Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. Fear I like the lips and all of it. Death. Yeah. It's a really good blend, by the way. Really, really great blend. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like how you colored the skin and the background. And the nails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's super fun. And I love that it's a consistent color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love the head. I love the I headband. I like the I headband. I absolutely mm-hmm. like the headband. I think it's really dope. I'm curious if maybe, like, even by tying in the color a little bit more, mm-hmm. maybe, could like, a few purple. of them could have been uh-huh. purple uh-huh. as well. So that's super fun, though. I dig it. Dave said he's scared right now. It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared, Dave. We're um, all in this together, Dave. Fear Don't neither worry. life or death. Fear neither <laughs> life nor death. And then fun little gradient. Yeah, looks great. I think it's fun. Just, you know, keep playing different colors and different things. To me, almost like the headband seems a lot darker to me than mm-hmm. the rest of the mm-hmm. image. So I would play I with probably, maybe bringing it up. For sure. Maybe doing like a little color picker, you know, for the background, mm-hmm. using those different colors um, mm-hmm. within mm-hmm. that could really tie it all together. Yeah, for sure. Great. Good job, Leah Michelle. Wonderful. Okay. Ooh, conversations. Ooh, conversations. Okay. Mm. So this is from Shahid again. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so he's just like submitting he's had, everything. He's, he's so having he fun. He's having a good time. Okay, well, I like the, the cartoony vibes from mm-hmm. this. Me too. I'm trying to figure out what this is, though. Is this like a little cigarette? Like, I, think I don't so. know. It's got some vibes. But fun little texture. There's kind of, kind of like fire. I don't know. Yeah. Something, something's happening. It's interesting. It's very like cartoony, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it also looks like it, like, could be fabric or something, isn't it? Do you, do you feel oh. that? Like it could be like like some kind of cutout, like a, you know, you ever do those art classes back in the day where you had they yes. give you like a little thing and they have those little things where you gotta like chip out like the stuff. Yes. And then you like. What cr- is it called? Cru, cr- 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 I think it's called something. <laughs> <laughs> cr- um, cr- is it like the ones to like make a stamp? Yes, like the yes, little that material yes, that you're like me, me, yes, me, and then yes, yes, yes. What is it called? I, I don't know. know, but I did it, and that's what this feels like. It yeah. feels like there's like cutouts, like a little yeah. of the actual like, yeah, paper. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Because it ca- it has cool. dimension to yeah. it, so it's like yeah, you know. Wow, super fun. I Great, like it. thank you, Shahid. Thanks for making me think. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So Ooh. this is captures by Kyle. Here's my attempt at it. Great attempt. Okay, this is um, beautiful. This is a success. I love it. Yeah. 
I, I, just, I, I think what makes this successful, kind of what we've been talking about with the others, is bringing in the texture for all of the different types of layers. Mm -hmm. So I think what makes this successful is that he's got it, you know, around it. He's got the texture of the yes, flowers yes. still very realistic, but you know, the background's a little wooden, mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. her face is, you know, it's got it's it's smooth, but there's that that, you know, yeah. um, skull coming out. So I yeah. think it, it really and does I tie it all together. And I think it's super um, clever that you kept all the flowers on the side mm -hmm. of the um, kind of the skull side yeah. and then like the other side was like like on purpose like right. left you know right. super simple yeah. um, and again I get that vibe too about like kind of like almost as if the photo was left somewhere and then mm -hmm. it got like charred from a mm -hmm. fire or like all these like fun little textures yeah, that make it look vintage and kind of distressed mm -hmm. yeah I think yeah, you did a really um, good job this is like those photos people take in those old um, uh, those, there's like really old cameras they used to have and they'd like put their heads mm -hmm. inside and then they'd put mm -hmm. like a metal slab in there. Uh, tin types? Tin types maybe. maybe. And then uh -huh. that's what the, this is what it feels like. I did a tin type um, like a year ago at a party and we still have it on our fridge and it like looks exactly <gasps> oh like this. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So cool. I love it. So this love is a it. very, this reminds me of like an old school vintage yeah. photo. Yeah. And I, the red is super striking. Yeah, I love the it. red gives it like that pop because I feel like if there wasn't that red in there and it was all kind of green, it, it wouldn't as popped as much. Yeah. Even our nails are red too, so. Oh yeah, that's you're cool. right. And we just, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. It looks great. Awesome, thank you, Captures by Kyle. Okay, then we have, let's see. Uh, LV248, I think this is from the day yesterday. Mm -hmm. So selecting and masking. Ooh. Wow, and super the fun. The eye of the beholder. Uh huh. Yes. What is that, a spaceman or something? Super that cool. is a spaceman. He is on MTV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> MTV oh, yeah. Spaceman. <laughs> awesome. I love that, that cool. the whole image is black and white, but the eye is kind of the focus. Yeah, I like the um, eye. I think it's a really cool, like the pink that's like this lava. It's you like know, swirly lava and lamps? it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. I, like mm -hmm. a, I love lava lamps. You know what I just got? Mm -hmm. Remember those things you put your hand on and it like has all electricity coming to your hand? It's like yes, a ball and, like, of. and yes. it's like, and then it goes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that at my that's house. So I just cool. got that. It brought me back to like the 90s. Yeah. Oh my God. It used to be at all the shops and stuff. Oh my God. There used to be like a like a YouTube video about like all these like 90s products. It just makes <laughs> me imagine? feel good just thinking about it. Like, it makes me feel calm and like, just oh like at gosh. ease. Yeah. Oh, Amazing. I love the 90s. The 90s. I well, this is great. 90s. I think it's super fun and I like the colors. So. Yeah, this is I cool. It's cool. Thanks for bringing cool. us back. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. That's what art should do, you know? It should make you think. Yeah. Make you ponder about Make you about feel something. Stuff, your experience. Make you remember something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something that triggers art that triggers like a memory or yeah. like you know yeah, yeah or that's an emotion. why you know when you have an idea about a piece of art and you put it out in the world your meaning is useless at that point <laughs> it's like every, whatever anyone else has experienced and they have you know done with their life that's what that piece means because mm -hmm. not everyone knows what you know yeah you know? yeah i mm -hmm. think it's so interesting like how what you put out to the world like your art but then like what somebody interprets it is like completely, mm, completely different. different. So, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's the same way with a lot of my waterfall edits. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, this is scary. I'm like, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I feel calm. But I'm I like, you're supposed to, yeah. Soothing. Oh my gosh. So, um, this was after like a lot of the hurricanes that happened, and ABC mm. posted one of my oh photos my gosh, on their feed. No. And it was completely different than the stuff I ever get. Like, comments, you know, this is beautiful, this is great. People are like, this is horrible. Oh, who made this? This is Oh this my is god. Evil. And it's like, like in the wrong context. Of course, like you're you're gonna get <laughs> reactions. Why would ABC News why? post that? That's, like yeah, that's, wrong that's to really you. weird. That's so weird. But you know what it was great? Is mm -hmm. that they ended up tagging the wrong person for the edit and I was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a, such so a like, fun story. So it's like God bless me a little bit because no one else was attacking me, but I was like, yeah. okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the one time when I don't care about being tagged <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Of course, it ends up being something really bad. <laughs> Gosh, Amazing. what a mess. All right, so next up is Ama J H. Thank you for submitting again. I recognize your name. Very beautiful. Love the colors. Mm -hmm. Love the colors. 
And also love that the skull this time is like, like a, white. Yeah, it's like, it's like more, maybe a screen or something. Yeah, it's blend, like screen, blend mode uh -huh, or something. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Absolutely. And I like that you kind of put the flowers, like overlap them together in this mm -hmm. little context here. And, and, yeah. and it's on the hair this time. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's on the really hair. Cool. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. And some over here. Mm -hmm. um, might have played around with the kind of perspective yeah, with them, like I can see that. Stort, storted them mm -hmm. a little bit, but um, totally cool if that's on purpose too, you know? Mm -hmm. Like super fun. And I like that all the, it's a pretty monochrome type of, you know, yeah. um, work. There's Absolutely. all the pinks and the purples, so. Super fun. Thank you, Emma J. Very nice coloring. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, this is Vivi82. Can't help it, I'm a pattern lover. Very important question. Why don't shapes accept gray tones? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Good question. That's a great question. Okay, this is really nice. This is really beautiful. I like that mm -hmm. the pattern in the background like doesn't just go, like if you, it goes over her shoulder. I think that's really cool. Because mm -hmm. um, it goes behind her, but then it comes over her. Mm -hmm. And that's like a really, really smart, cool uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I love this tex the texture. Yeah. And I kind of like this distress look as Same. far on the face, too. Yeah, me too. Super fun. I like that those flowers on her head are like realistic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they look like they're for sure they're there. Coming out. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. And her eyes, like. Super green, like it's just like, like this pop. one, and then there's like no eye here. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's really successful. Also, I think green and purple are like some kind of good colors good together in yeah. some way. So and green and pink too. Yes, you're exactly yeah. right. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Green and pink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Um, well, there's definitely a lot more of these. Ooh. Oh, actually, yeah. Maybe we'll do one more, and then we'll get back to our normal stuff, and we'll answer some questions as well. So. Sounds good. Um, we're coming up at the end of our stream, so. Cool, this is from Edu Artist. I'm still busy to find tools where they're hidden. I know there's no, uh, let me read that again. There's no shortcut, shortcut key for studying Photoshop. Thank you for teaching no, one by not. one. <laughs> there's no shortcut. Yikes. Oh, super fun. I like these little shapes. This is They're very different. 60s. Yeah, it Maybe is. Like, uh -huh. do, 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 do. Yeah, Austin Powers. Uh, you know what this, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Or even like, they kind of run it like the shapes from like Spongebob a little bit. Oh, <laughs> like bikini nautical, bottom. Yes, you know? absolutely. <laughs> Sandy went crazy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, Sandy's yes. a human and now she has no face. <laughs> <laughs> and then she kind of put the whole thing over her face yeah, like too, it. which is fun, so. It's cool. Fun. I'd be curious to see a maybe more gradient vibe at the back. <clears throat> yeah. Um, using some of the colors from these. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for submitting. Um, yeah, we will have more challenges coming your way, so make sure to stick around. Um, but otherwise, we'll just head back over to your thing. Yeah. And let me just take a look and see if there's any questions. Um, Alberto is asking, what do you have planned for this year? Oh man, what do I have planned for this year? Um, Creatively or? Oof, no. I have a big announcement. I can't make it yet. But uh, I'm making uh, a, I'm moving somewhere. I'm moving. <gasps> Just can't, I haven't, I'm gonna announce it at some point. Um, but um, that's gonna be exciting. Um, so that's, be, that's gonna be a big change. Um, but I think the biggest thing for me is more video, more, mm -hmm. um, I think what I lacked last year is I was trying to rely too much on my Instagram stories and try to hype those up. But the videos that I put on my Instagram stories need to fit on my feed. The feed is important. The feed mm -hmm. is extremely mm -hmm. important. So I'm making an effort to showcase more stuff that I put on my story on my feed. Ah, uh, got it. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I think the biggest thing this year is just working on myself, mm -hmm. um, bettering myself, keeping that morning routine going, educating myself, reading more books. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I love reading books, more podcasts. Yes, yes. Um, making sure I, I want to be more consistent on podcasting. Um, I want to be more consistent with my YouTube, which is very difficult. What do you um, have on your YouTube? Like what right kind of now, actually, on my YouTube, I have three episodes, um, but they they don't really involve each other too much. But the first one is my Instagram secrets, all the apps mm. that I use. Ooh, so, so every you want to check that out. Mm -hmm. Her YouTube Top channel. Top ten apps for Instagram or awesome. Instagram editing, for iPhone editing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then the other one is um, like how to build a brand for yourself through okay. Instagram, I think. Yeah. And then the other one is um, how to pitch yourself for cash. So there you go. a few things yeah. that people have always Couple asked things. me about that I um, tried to share. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Alberto's also asking if you use IGTV. I actually used to. I did, and I deleted all the videos that were on there. 
Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something about IGTV. I was like, one of the first people I was like, oh, I'm so excited about it. So I made a video with a team and I didn't like it that much, but I put it out anyway. I was like, whatever, just put it yeah. out there. And then I did it a second time um, mm -hmm. and it was great. But then the person that I featured in it like did something and I had to take it down and it was just like oh, sucked. Stupid. Um, things. Ugh, just mm. like, this is, but this is why I, um, this is why I do my podcast by myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is why I do a lot of things by myself because mm -hmm. I just don't want anyone to have to be involved with what I do and yeah. I have to rely on what they're doing and yes. their past and yes. stuff. I just sometimes it stresses me out yeah. to not know what other stressful. people are on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but so I love IGTV. I think it's fantastic. I do have one episode on there where I do um, like a kind of like a uh, I'm riding around in a car with my friend and we're talking about stuff, talking about being an artist, talking about mm -hmm. um, being, um, you know, basically all the stuff that we talked about here is mental health and, yeah. and how to just, you know, feel better. It's a better. really big topic mm -hmm. right now, especially mm -hmm. on social media. Yeah, it's really important. So, so it is super important. Um, but that's that's one of my, my latest IGTVs. I think it was a, it was a um, collaboration with Audi, which was nice. Very so, cool. Um, yeah. But oh, I awesome. plan to do more IGTV. I love it. But it's just, there's so many things. Like, mm -hmm. I got some podcasts. And I'm also, yeah. I'm also, um, I'm writing a book. The book is coming out. You guys, the book is coming. that's awesome. The book is, is, um, all the affirmations that I've been writing for the last two and a half oh years. Oh my gosh, that's so. amazing. So if you don't know, or if you're not following, um, Elise on Instagram, mm -hmm. she has all like her IG highlights has all her things and there's one for her daily affirmations mm -hmm. which she actually speaks and mm -hmm. you know on the story and yeah and then she also you know there's a plenty of other things on there as well yeah. like the especially all to do with your um, routine in the morning mm -hmm. um, like the sunset photos mm -hmm. um, yeah. so super cool stuff make sure to go follow her um, I do so much. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, how do I? Someone uh, tweeted me the other day. They were like, it seems like you have 48 hours in the day. I'm like, I <laughs> wish I had that. Are you planning to <laughs> make the book like have your af like affirmations, but then also have like your sunset photo to no. follow with it or anything? No, actually. So the sun fo sunset photos will be its own thing. Got it. And then it'll be just words. Maybe some little baby illustrations. Not literally babies, but just little, <laughs> you know, yeah. trinkets, whatever they little are. Little things. Um, but I, I really just want it to be a small kind of little thing where you can put in your pocket, put in your bag, yeah. feel good about, oh, like flip that. through flip whenever through you feel like. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, you need it's, a little inspo or something. I want it to be a reminder book. Reminder. I don't want it mm -hmm. to be a, a newly educational piece. It's mm -hmm. something that we all know that we just need to be reminded of. Yeah, now and then. absolutely. Yeah. That's super cool. Thank you, Vidal, for uh, linking her I podcast. Love Val. Val is the best, man. I know. She's yeah. always, you know, coming in and <clears throat> helping us out. Yeah. Um, so make sure to check that out because you know she's got a lot of different topics lots all of topics relating to i talk about business things. i talk about um routines i talk about mondays i talk about everything self-respect mm -hmm. confidence um compliments literally i was like all across the board everything yeah. you think of I've, I've probably chatted about so sometimes it's hard for me to even think of a topic now because i'm like <laughs> yeah. what haven't what i talked haven't about I? yeah said. i think i have about 18 episodes so it's been going on oh my for gosh, about that's a, a long, year yeah now. that's a long time and yeah. that's i mean glad that you're being consistent with it and kind of Still going with yeah. it. Yeah. That's hard. I mean it's I mean it's one of those things where you're like, should I do this? And then you do it and you just keep going. And yeah. then you just because people know about it now. And you're yeah. like, okay. At first I was like terrified. I mean I recorded the entire podcast on my laptop <gasps> oh <laughs> with my no gosh. mic. And I think I recorded like oh, I don't even know what program I had, but it was like maybe record or something. Uh -huh. Um but it, the I mean the the it was a horrible sound. But people were like yeah. listening anyway, and, and I was like, there, oh. Just like in and on then it. I started getting some tips from some friends, and you know, try this one out, do this, then. I was like, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I just, you know, each day is gonna get better, and, and yeah. hopefully I grow with it. It's yeah. not, it's not perfect, but it's. I it's, mean, but everything, you know, like you is. just. I think people uh, always get caught up on. Um, holding back from mm -hmm. doing something because they're like, it needs to be perfect, or right, it needs to be right. like all finished, or right. it needs to be, you know, exactly mm -hmm. what. It, what they're having their head mm -hmm. or whatever but sometimes like you know then you're never gonna do anything right it's so i mean you just kind of have to go for it progress over perfection yeah and then you learn you know <laughs> you, you learn yeah hi tim 
Oh, this was up. <laughs> Thanks, Noel. I really appreciate that. This looks great. I joined in late. Oh, womp womp, yeah. womp womp indeed. But you can still watch it back. <laughs> Promise. Yeah, we'll have got a, a replay after this. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, I mean, this we worked on this today. This fun little sunset thing, and you finalized my grain. Get oh yeah, the grain get in, in the grain. Get Give in the me grain. My grain. <laughs> I added it. We're good. But, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Vidal, for putting in her link. Um, that concludes our three-day stream. We're but so we don't sad. Have a full we don't have a fourth, unfortunately. I promise so, I'll be back one day. Well, yeah, she'll be back. Mm -hmm. She'll be back. So um, we're putting it now, right now. It's being recorded, so she's going to come back. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to watch all the replays um, because, you will you know, we've talked about a lot of fun things. So um, definitely good to watch all of those. And we'll have the XD stream after this, um, the XD Daily Creative Challenge, and then the XD stream at noon. So you've stick been, around because we've got a lot of fun things. You've and, been a um, great host. You've oh, been wonderful. Thank you so Seriously, much. thank you. You've been it's great. Been so fun. Stop it. <laughs> it's good. She's so awesome. Fun. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you.